Alright, so... As the stream title suggests, this may be a possible end to Jerry's journey, and uh, that may depend on how long I decide to go for uh, on this stream. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so last time, I, um, <laughs> completed the pit and, uh, Operation Anchorage. And, uh, so, with the pit, I got the one weapon infiltrator and a few different pieces of armor. I didn't take those with me yet, so I could go back there and get them if I wanted to, but I might just leave them there, honestly, <laughs> for now. And, uh, Operation Anchorage, um, well, that, <laughs> that got done and I got the, uh, um, well, I'm currently wearing it, so, Winterized T-51B Power Armor, so, uh, and I guess it just... <laughs> You know, the, if I remember correctly, the power armor has 10 million health, and the, uh, the helmet has, uh, 1 million health, so, the, uh, the chance of them breaking, you know, uh, yeah, the, the chances, I would say probably low of them breaking, so. And the damage resistance is like 10, well, more than, a little bit over 10 more points uh, than the Enclave uh, Tesla armor that it was using beforehand, so. Um, don't even have a weapon equipped for whatever reason. The man opener, that's what I was trying to remember. I got that too from uh, the pit. It's a unique, I guess a unique variant of the, um, I don't know what it's actually called, I don't remember, but it's a unique, a unique weapon, I believe, so, anyway, still have this thing though, on to the quest. Out of this world are the local flavor. Um, I think I'm probably going to do not of this world first. And where is that located on the map? Oh, somewhere I have not been yet. I guess it goes through minefield, so... I haven't been back here since, like, I don't know, maybe a few streams ago. <laughs> so that could be weeks yeah, at this point. Eh, maybe not weeks, actually. Maybe, like, a week, maybe a week and a half. What is this? Those look like smokestacks to me. Kind of factory. Oh. Fox is already, already shooting. If that is Fox. There you go. Oh. Sentry bot. No more sentry bot. How much XP till I level up? Oh, okay. Maybe two or three kills? Oh, I missed. Unless I hit, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Now I hit. 10 XP.
was this? I discovered it, whatever it is. No, I didn't. Power station? Another power station? Uh, I guess I'll go check it out. Considering I've never been inside. Derelict power station. Oh. Okay. I'll disable the turret system. Oh. Or activate it, never mind. Attacking the turret? Reaver. Oh. There you are. It's one of these ones again. Please. Ah. Oh, jeez. Oh, level up. After this is... After our fight is over. Oh, I didn't even see him. Oh. <laughs> Got him. I'll get to 74, I guess. Get them up to big guns level. I mean, I can get size matters in two, and then it'll be up even higher. one of these. No weakness. Uh, it's just the special. Increase the five if I didn't already have higher specials. Oh, you know what? This. Because I don't think there is anything else. Maybe. Except for Demolition Expert and Size Matters. I'll go with Size Matters. Oh! Ah, injured myself with that, but that's okay. Aid. Stimpact. And two blood packs. I didn't realize I had like 510 health, or well, 500 health, and then I think the level up gave me 10 health. Oh yeah, now I remember, because in Operation Anchorage I had 500 health, so... I think that level up did give me 10 more health. Radiation. Six bottle caps. Empty. Oh. I might double unlock this. 44 magnum rounds. 51 bottle caps. Pre-war money. And another scoped 44 magnum. Uh, take it for the value, I guess. Is this turret control? Oh no, there we go. Double. Double XP. And now I'm out of here.
Ooh, what's this? It's lit up, whatever it is. Oh, nothing. Not something I could activate. This... This neither, okay. Okay. One rad. Oop. Put locker. Four caps. All right. Game's over. Oh, town company. No more, please. No more, please. Forty-four magnum rounds on that shotgun. Oh wait, shotgun shells. Private contract. Kill Jerry. I don't even have the laser life. <laughs> the the laser rifle. I don't have the laser rifle in my inventory. Okay, let's take the ammo then. Be on our way. Friend? Oh, okay. They don't attack. Okay, I'm surprised that I don't get attacked on sight by those. But I guess there isn't like a... A thing that's controlling them anymore. Unless there's, like, Enclave nearby. Oh. What the heck is that? Oops. I didn't mean to kill friend. I don't want to kill friends, but... What? I've lost karma. For what? I'm gonna do it again. The heck? Oh, Talon Company, that's right. Forgot about them. Missed. There we go. Okay. Who's next? Chinese assault rifle. Do I even? Yes, I do carry that still. Rad X Chinese assault rifle. Uh, uh, repair. No repair. Never mind. Mine is already <laughs> repaired as far as it can be. Ten millimeter rounds. Try this again. I'll uh, use a different weapon. Oh, that's right. I took this for the value. Um, here we go. Man opener. Just use this thing. Got what it looked like. I didn't realize it was <laughs> like that. <laughs> I thought it was more like a kind of like a Gatling laser shape because the way that it looks here, but <laughs> it makes me think more of like a fire axe. But when I'm holding it, like in uh, third person, it looks different. Like, it looks like I'm holding it higher when I'm in first person. Is this a random encounter that won't happen again? It might be. Oh yeah, it might be a random encounter. 
and I have to, like, reload to get it to happen again. Unless it was further down. Oh nope, random encounter. Load back. Oh no, now they actually, they're actually shooting at me this time. There we go. I'm gonna save after they're dead this time. Five, five, six rounds, nine bottle caps. I'm a Nuka Cola this time. Pack of cigarettes, pulse grenade, shotgun shells, contract kill Jerry. Something troubling you, my friend. Let's trade equipment. Yes, by all means, let's. Oh, has not used any grenades yet. Here you go. Take more. <laughs> Let's go. And I shall follow. Save this time. Right here. Oh. There's the eye bot. Forget where it even happened. Go discover whatever is down here first, I guess, before going. On, but Oop. radiation, greener pastures disposal site. Oh, okay. Another enclave I bought. this building. <laughs> Door to office. Oh. Oh, the safe is open. 10 millimeter rounds, 6 bottle caps, pre-war money. New Cola Quantum. Scrap metal that I'm not collecting anymore. <laughs> oh. Agility bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Never be afraid to dodge the sensitive issues. Your agility has been permanently increased by one. Okay. No more games! Time to die! Okay. Tire iron. Empty. Ow. Okay. Uh, now I think I have to go back up and around this. Actually get to the next... to that marker. Random encounter. Never happened again after the first time. It's unfortunate. I hope I make. I hope I didn't make it not happen anymore for some reason.
Oh. Beam me up. Bye, folks. took my stuff. Yes, they did. You okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they'd fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry. That'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. Who are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm the same as you, I figure. Went poking around someplace I shouldn't have, and now I'm paying for it. So you and me, we're stuck here until they decide they want to prod us some more or worse. Man, I can't believe this. This is what you call, what is it, irony? Hell, I don't know. How do we get out of here? I've been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to... Shit. You hear that? It's coming again. Get back against the wall now. coming for us. Don't lose it, okay? We can get through this. I'm thinking maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here? What the hell was that thing? Where are they taking that guy? What? You've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry them off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking him, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We gotta get out of here, kid. Now! So how do we get out of here? Now you're talking. I can tell you, there ain't an easy way out of here. I've looked around, I can't find any panels, wires, circuits, nothing. I'm thinking they did us a favor, putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. And for the record, the name's Soma. Nice to meet you. What kind of advantage? They're keeping an eye on us, you know. Watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. Alright, fine. What's your plan? 
They want us alive for something. Who knows what? Point is, if it looks like one of us is going to kill the other, they'll step in to stop it. So that's what we do. We throw a few punches, make it look real, and then jump them when they come in to break it up. Okay, so we get out of the cell and then what? Hell if I know, but at least it's a start. It's better than sitting here waiting for them to experiment on us even more. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, good boy. Now let's not get too rough here, okay? Gotta make it look good, but don't want to do any serious damage. Okay, go ahead and hit me. Alright, I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? And you be ready. Soon as they come in to get us, you take them down. Yeah, we're really fighting now, aren't we? We're really fighting now, aren't we? Yeah, we're really fighting now. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm gonna oh, take him out. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't got any un unarmed. Oh. Oh. Ah. Shock baton. I got melee though. Tear him up. Grab anything useful and let's go. Who knows how long it'll be before they send more after us. Come on, come on, we don't have time to waste. Uh, Ooh, now I'm really close. Really close to death. Oh. The archway has restored some of your health. Sick. Captive recorded log one. Talk into this thing? Just talk? I, I don't have to do anything else? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! All right! Ow! I said all right, just stop! Hello. Um, hello. My name is Andrew Endicott. On the night of May 17th, the year of our Lord 1697, I was... I was taken from my home in Salem Village. I... I do not know where I am exactly, or why I came to be here. I've seen through... windows, the stars, and sun, and beloved Earth, down there below me. So it would seem I am aboard some... vessel, suspended in the ether. Ironically, it would seem so close to where I thought heaven must surely lie. But this is not heaven, and my captors are not angels. I'm not entirely unconvinced that the scripture is wrong, that heaven and hell are reversed. For my captives are devils, demons from my nightmares. Even now, they watch me, make me talk. They seem to want me to tell my story. I know not why. A record of their deeds, perhaps? Or am I just a pawn in some... some evil game? And there are others, other captives, I mean. From whence they came, I cannot say. Some wear strange dress, as if they're from a different time. And some are frozen, as in ice, unmoving, but I think alive. I believe they plan the same fate for me, 
Will I be frozen too? Will I? Oh, stop it! I did what you said. You wanted me to talk, so I talked. Just leave me. Leave me be. Okay. Hello? Hi! Hi there! Listen, can you let me out of here? What the hell is this thing? What are we supposed to do with it? You have to shut that off to open the door here. Well, not really shut it off. More like, blow it up. If you turn off the coolant, it'll get really hot and then explode. So be careful, okay? Okay. This thing? Explodey time. Backing up. Thanks! Are you escaping? Do you want to see the rest of this place? I've seen a bunch. I can show you if you want. Okay, kid, lead the way. Great! Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Well, so much for that idea. She suckered you good, huh? See? I told you I could help. How did you do that? There's wires and stuff inside the wall there. A while ago, I learned which ones to put together to make the doors work. There's all kinds of stuff in the walls. But I guess you're too big to see. But that's okay. I can get to it just fine. Come on! We need to get to the big engine room so I can show you the rest of this place. I can help you even more. Do you know where we're going? Sure! We need to go to the big engine thing, and then from there we can go up to the top of the ship. That's where the guy in charge is. I've only seen him once or twice, but he's extra mean. I guess you'll probably have to kill him or something, huh? Are you all alone? Where's your family? I don't have any family anymore. My mom and dad died a while ago, before I ended up here. You know, back when all the bombs dropped on everything. Yeah. It was right after that. And then me and my sister, we got pulled up here. Except, I haven't seen her in a long time. How do you know so much about this place? Oh, I've been here a while. A long while. Sometimes, I can sneak out of my cell and go explore. I've seen a bunch of the ship. It's pretty neat. But they always catch me and put me back here. Let's keep moving. Okay, come on! Am I able to repair this? Oh, I am. 19 damage. HP minus two for five seconds. Ooh. Alien power module. Take it. Oh. Oh, okay. Is that everything that I had? Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, container. 
energy cell, 12, plasma grenade, 3, and plasma pistol. I'll take it. So then, uh, can repair mine. Six bottle caps, frag grenade, and a sledgehammer. Ooh, okay, does that mean that's from other people's belongings? Door is activated from somewhere else. This thing? Oh. Yes, okay. Uh oh. Oh, okay, already? The game's a little bit broken. Okay. Power module. Squid food. I'll take it. Do I have my... <laughs> shock baton all the way repaired as far as I can? Nope. Now I think I do. But even if I picked up one then it would uh, not be, yep, already fully repaired as much as I can at least. Where'd they go? I didn't kill them, right? Hmm? Where did the other two go? Well, now my autosave saves over Wait, that. Wait, there are more coming down the hall. Just stay here and I'll try and get this door open for you. Oh. Still. Hmm. Maybe it's this other wire. I already started firing at them. Here they are. Don't worry, I can take it. Almost killed myself with it. Don't want to do that. Alien worm food. Squid food. Large alien crystal. Value 20. Okay. Now continue down the hall. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Alien blaster. Uh oh. I'm not doing damage. Oh, alien disintegrator. Damage 53. Alien power module 14. Alien warm food. Now I'm fully healed. 53. Still does 94, so almost double the amount of damage.
Oh, alien atomizer, biogel, power module, large alien crystal, small alien crystal, ailerons. about this is the reload time. Take this and repair the other one. Alien power module squid food. Containers back here. Any of the stuff lootable? No. Oh, they got batons. Well, this is called a man opener, but. <laughs> can just use it on them. <laughs> Alien opener. Okay, maybe not. Large alien crystal. Alien biogel. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't seem to be working as uh, effectively as I thought it would. I just don't want to make the condition of the alien weapons go down before I leave here. So, what about this? Try this on them. You should try and go that way. Sorry. Support drone. Get out of here. Oh, there's two support drones. Oh no. Epoxy. Alien power module. I'll prepare it. I don't know, I might I might be able to use these weapons. Atomizer, alien epoxy, alien power module. Try the atomizer. Does it shoot faster than the disintegrator? Because if it does, I'm probably going to keep using that one instead. Picked it back up. Power module, pistol. Repair. There you go. Anything in here? Nope. 
can go up here. That's a, uh, yeah, that's a little bit, um, uh, what do I have? Rag mine, man opener, plasma mine, plasma pistol, plasma rifle. I'll try the plasma rifle on them. Okay, that does not seem to be doing as much as I'd expect it to. So then, uh, railway rifle. I haven't used this in a little bit. Makes a train whistle noise. Didn't hear that before when I was using it. This seems like the only weapon I might have that does, like, what I would say significant damage to them. And power, power module, alien squid food. Ooh, okay, these are worth like 400. This is worth 235. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I'll do a manual save before I get further, just in case. Too late. Here, I won't. I won't shoot him this time. fighter. Wait, does that mean I can... No, I'm not able to repair that. I have the alien epoxy though. module, atomizer, power module, large alien crystal, alien atomizer, maximum repair, that's maximum repaired, so, just gonna keep using the Tesla cannon, because it, to me it seems like the only effective weapon right now. Heard them. Oh, there they are. Epoxy, squid food, small alien crystal, two of them. Power module, small alien crystal, power modules, alien worm food. Okay, I thought that might have been a locker. But I 
Yes, not. Oh, I used it at point blank range. Go back up, because I fell off. No more. Oh jeez, no please! Ouch. Oh, I got them. Million power module. Oh, I didn't even see that. Back again. Oh. Oh. There you go. Maybe oh. the staircase. Oh. I think they're behind the staircase. Take these. Oh. Take them out first, then I'll get the other ones. Oh. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I'm this far back now. Okay. And again. I didn't lose karma for that. There we go. Pick up all this stuff again. One left. Ah. That cripple is like. Oh, now I took off its legs. Our module, worm food. Uh, uh alien crystal. Our module squid food. Our module squid food. Save. Here. Yes. Am I stuck? Oh. Yep, I'm stuck. TCL. TCL again. Ah! Okay. I think my weapons are not hitting them for some reason.
like the hit detection is broken again. Like before with the uh, ghoul reaver. Oh yeah, it's not even damaging them. There, that did. Damaged me in the process. Container, alien epoxy, squid food, and alien crystals. Two small ones. Alien power module. Oh, jeez. Oh, ah. oh, now they're running. Can't get me back here, I guess. Epoxy and power module. Small alien crystal. Save here. Oh, crippled their leg. And just. Get me now. Our module, large alien crystal. until it's safe, okay? Biogel, power modules, large alien crystal. Worm food. I didn't know it was that large. Small alien crystals. Now this way. Even see that. <laughs> Come on, we're almost there. All alien crystal, large alien crystal. Alien epoxy. Oh, small alien crystals and large alien crystal. 
More crystals. Okay, I'll show you what I found. If you want to get out of here, I think it'll help. Come on, follow me. Oh, okay. Aw, oh, nuts. They turned it off! Last time I was here, I used this to get to the top of the ship. It's kind of like an elevator, only it doesn't just go up and down. Feels sort of tingly, too. They must be pretty angry that we're exploring. Oh, I know! Come on, I know another way up. Okay. You lead the way. So, this is it. Pretty neat, huh? I never had the courage to wake them up, but I think you're going to need to. The spaceman has a suit. And we need him to use it. Who are these? Oh, who are these people? I don't know. I've never talked to them. Sometimes I'd come and look at them and wonder why they're dressed like that. You see that one guy? He has this really neat suit on. Like armor or something. And that other guy? He looks just like a cowboy. I saw pictures of cowboys in books. I never saw a real one, though. Why do we need a spaceman to help us? Well, because he's got a spacesuit. Can't go out in space without one. And if we're going to escape, we need to go outside. If they turn out the elevator things, that's the only other way to go. So we need a suit. See? Simple. Okay, let's talk to the astronaut. This is going to be so neat! Ooh. Oh. Who just screamed? Oh, I can release him. Oh, okay. Hit the control. This is this is incredible. I hope that little girl knows I'm, what she's talking about. I'm or Colonel we're Hardigan in for some of the United States Air Force. Uh, I'm sorry. What? I, I don't understand. Oh, uh, speaking to this. I was saying, I'm Colonel Hardigan, United States Air Force. Our nation has been conducting manned space flight tests. <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive me. Frankly, we never expected to meet you all. I'm sure there's a great deal that our two species can learn. Ow! Ow! What the hell? What is this? What are you doing? I did the- I hit the release button, did I not? Where was my last save? Oh. Take all these crystals again. Go back up there. Maybe, maybe I have to hit release on all the buttons. Okay, I'll- Okay. Doesn't work. Aw, oh, nuts. Okay. Anything I missed in here before going forward?
over here. Alright. So, this is it. Okay, let's talk to the astronaut. Oh. Quest completed, not of this world. Cryolab. Okay. This Listen is, to this again. This is incredible. I'm... I'm Colonel Hardigan of the United States Air Force. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. What? I, I don't understand. Oh, uh, speaking to this? Yes. I was saying, I'm Colonel Hardigan. Oh, United stasis controls. Our nation has been conducting manned space flight tests. <laughs> I'm sorry. You'll have to forgive me. Frankly, we never expected to meet you all. I'm sure there's a great deal that our two species can learn from... Ow! Ow! What the hell? What is this? What are you doing? I hope that little girl knows what she's talking about. Or we're in for some serious trouble. Uh-oh. Soma, what's it like down there? I released them all. still the same? Same as when you were down there, you mean? Yeah. I mean... Taking these captive recordings. Uh... Calm down, we're trying to escape. Can you help us? I'm sorry, but I can't understand you. <laughs> How's it going, Grandmaster Farmer? Guess I'm doing the uh, Not From This World uh, quest. Well, it says I completed it, but... I'm finishing it now. And then I'm gonna be moving on to, uh... Uh, what is it? Point Lookout. That's what it is. Yeah, Mothership Zeta. That about sums it all up. The world is still a huge... Where are they? Where are the little buggers? Point Lookout is by far my favorite DLC in this game. Ah. Uh, yeah, I... I was told I saved the best for last, so um I I I'll see. I'll see which uh I'll see. I don't know which one's my favorite so far. I don't know if I really have a favorite cuz I like I like the Operation Anchorage, I guess. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see after. After doing these two. The aliens, they're all over the place. That's why I woke you. Aliens? That what you call them? So you woke me, huh? Who the hell are you? Anchorage is fun, but it feels so-so being only a simulation. Eh. Well, you know what? At the very least, the reward is probably my favorite war <laughs> reward. So. I'm trapped on the ship just like you. Do I really look that stupid, kid? This ain't a ship. I don't hear water, and I sure as hell don't feel us rocking. So tell me another one. Besides, you don't look trapped to me. How do I know you ain't working with those little green bastards? Um, I think it's winterized 
be 51 if I'm not mistaken. I can see once I stop talking to the uh, cowboy. Paulson. Look, all I want to do is work together as a team so we can get home. The only teams I know are cattle and they get led to the slaughter. That's why I work alone, kid. Now, you did let me out of that thing, so it counts for something. Tell you what, I usually ride solo, but I'll stick with you for now. You try and pull anything stupid, and I'll bury you. Mess. It's been over ten years for me, I don't remember numbers well. Oh, that's okay. Items, apparel. Yeah, winterized T-51B power armor. There isn't anyone left to fix anything. Everything's in ruins, people are still fighting to survive, and I don't see anything that can change that. Maybe we should just stay up here then. I hated when it was like that. Hey, at least down there we're free. Well, most of us anyway. So let's just get the hell out of here. Oh. Hey there, little one. So, are your parents anywhere aboard this ship? Nah, just me and my sister. I don't know what happened to my parents. Your sister's up here? Have you seen her? Well, I saw her once, when I first woke up on this ship, but I haven't seen her since. Hey, don't worry. If she's up here, we're going to find her, okay? Thanks, Mr. Decorian. I knew you'd help. Hiya, mister. No. Oh, what? Where am I? Oh. What's what's going on? Who are all these people? It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. We're friends. What? I've never seen any of you before in my life. Last people I saw were. Oh my God! Aliens! I was taken by aliens! You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind. Well, that's not gonna work! Private Elliot Tekorian, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you. I can promise you, I'm not an alien. In fact, I was abducted like you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you assumed human form. I heard they can do that. Or you are human, but they took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are. If I were with the aliens, the last thing I would have done is release you. I... I suppose so. Look, all I want to do is get back home and back to the rest of my squad. Wait a minute! My men! My unit! Have you seen them? I'm afraid not. All I've found are these people. Oh my god. I'm responsible for them. And now they're lost. Or dead. Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together, then you've got to help me find out what happened to them. Don't worry, we are in this together and I will help you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Sorry about all this. I just can't believe this is happening. Tell me how you were captured by these aliens. Well, it was getting dark. We'd spent the day out in the trenches, keeping as many of the guys alive as we could. Chinese had been pounding on us all day with artillery from these huge guns they had up on the mountains. It was really a mess. Anyway, we pitched our tents and stowed our gear to try and catch some shut-eye. I woke up suddenly to Private Dawkins screaming. He was bathed in some kind of blue light coming from the sky. All of us just froze as he just, well, vanished. We didn't know what happened. Did the Chinese come up with some new weapon? Moments later, all of us were in the blue light too. 
The rest, you know. What do you know about this Toshiro Ikago guy? He looks like a Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. Can you tell me more about where you're from? Me? Well, I was a medic with the 108th Infantry Battalion stationed at Anchorage, Alaska. I was with a squad of five other medics. Our job was to patch everyone up after the commies gunned them down. It was pretty bloody. Nothing at all like I expected when I gave up my hospital job to enlist in the army. What do you think the aliens want with us? What if this is just some horrible misunderstanding? Like, what if some radio waves got beamed into space and made it all the way to their planet, only they didn't hear the nightly news or whatever? To them, it sounded like a declaration of war, so they decided to attack us first. Seriously, this whole thing could totally be our fault. Do you realize that? Do you think you'll be able to assist us medically if we need it? I'd really like to, but when I woke up on this ship for the first time, all of my medical gear was gone. I saw that the aliens on this ship have some sort of viscous stuff they slather onto wounds. Some kind of biological gel. Get me some of that, and I might be able to mess around with it, make some sort of adapted biogel we can use on ourselves. Could you, could you make me some adapted biogel? Sure, here you go. They should work pretty well, but watch out for side effects. Okay. I hope that little girl knows what she's talking about, or we're in for some serious trouble. If you got something you want to say, spit it out. Tell me how you were captured by these aliens. Not much to tell. I heard that radio signal, thought I'd check it out. Thought maybe I could pull some scrap from whatever was sending the signal. Got a little more than I bargained for. What do you think the aliens want with us? Hell if I know. I don't plan on starting a conversation to ask, you know? Can you tell me more about where you're from? Does it really matter? I mean, we're fighting to stay alive here. Whatever I did before we got to this point doesn't mean a whole lot right now. What do you know about this Toshiro Kago guy? No idea what his deal is. Sounds like that gibberish you can pick up on the radio in some parts of the wasteland. Uh, since you seem so familiar with my gear, do you know how to repair it? Actually, I do. I used to tinker with all sorts of junk back home. I'd be glad to take a look at what you need fixed, but it's gonna cost you some caps. Well, given the circumstances, doesn't that seem kind of pointless? Maybe to you, it does. But hey, I gotta think about the future. If we get back down there and I'm broke, how am I going to survive? You know as well as I do that there are no handouts in the wasteland. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Now, let me see what you need fit. Of repair all 30, 3590 caps. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, but full condition. <laughs> the Tesla Cannon <laughs> cost 1334 caps. Um, I mean, it's the one weapon that does damage, so. I'll do it, I guess. That's all I'm repairing, though, because that was a thousand caps. These are worth 10. And these are worth 20. Okay. But they don't weigh anything. 
Yeah. Oh no! That poor astronaut! Those freezers are so dangerous. Sometimes people don't wake up. I guess you better take his suit. You're going to have to go if he can't. But first, you have to get to the door to the outside. They'll be waiting for you. But you can suck out all the air and part of the ship so they won't get in your way. They have these generator things that power parts of the ship and make sure it has air. You'll have to turn some of them off. There's one in the cryo lab, one in the hangar bay, and one where they make the robots, the robot assembly area. Once they're all broken, you can get through that door to the outside. And then, once you get to the top of the ship, you can turn the teleporter thing back on, and I can catch up to you. I guess it's time for me to get those doors unlocked for you now. This is fun! What do you know about this Tashir Kago guy? Um, I think he's from the Earth's past. There are people frozen all over the ship that the aliens grabbed wearing funny old-time clothes and stuff. So what are these generators? How do they work? Oh, you'll know them when you see them. You push this button, and then this big thing is like, whoosh, and it comes out of the floor. And then, there are these things you press down, and it goes, and then you better get out of the way. You'll see. Okay. I have to go now. Don't go alone. Those generators are in scary places. Take one of the grown-ups with you. Oop. <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that. I hope that little girl knows what she's talking about, or we're in for some serious trouble. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Optional. Request help from the people you've revived. I want to request help from you. It's giving me the creep. What you want? Do you know anything helpful about the other sections of the ship? It's a pretty big place, and I've only seen some of it. They always catch me before I see the whole thing. I've seen the cryo lab. That's where they freeze people and cut them up and stuff. And the hangar. That has the aliens flying ships and all the stuff they need to fly them. And the robot assembly is where they build the big metal robots they use. But the real important stuff is on the top of the ship. I've never been there. I have to go now. Oh, I hope we can find my sister somewhere. Oh, I can go to the cryo lab. Oh, I missed. Epoxy. drone. Ooh. Can I get the support drones to attack them? Power module, squid food, alien crystal.
Oh, the hair. Got him. One more hit, maybe. Now, over here is where they were. Is there anybody else to release from in here? Oh, I can listen to the captive logs. This is the log too. What? What the fuck is this thing? Is that some kind of Martian sex machine, you sick fuck? Oh no, no way! Ah! God damn it! Fucking crazy ass moon man! Go ahead! Do your worst! God! Jesus H! Do you not get it, Space Cadet? I do not fucking understand what you want me to do! This thing? This? What? Talk! I am talking! What do you want me to say? Blah 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 yakety yakety that's all you assholes can say? Spacemen with all the science? And you can't even speak fucking English? Okay, how about this? My name is Vin. I am on a fucking UFO. I'm from Flatbush, and I want to get home. Can I get a taxi, please? How's that, huh? That worked for you, Starstruck? What? Don't you raise that fucking thing to me again. No, you're gonna hit me again? Is that? <laughs> ah, son of a... Why don't you go back to Uranus, huh? <laughs> okay. Log five. Yo, where's my wife? Where's my boy? What have you done with him? When I get free, so help me God, I'm gonna kill every last one of you. Ah! What are you doing? What the hell do you want with us? Let me go! Log six. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, 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 shit. Ah! Uh, just let me go, okay? This is crazy. This is like batshit unbelievable crazy. I didn't do anything! I don't know what you want with me. Is this because of Anchorage? I swear, I didn't even want to be there, man. You gotta believe me. I didn't even want to be out in the field. I was hoping for a job in Washington, you know? What? What do you want? I don't understand. Why is this happening to me? And the log seven. Under Kulari Tama, you guys think the car? How does it even look? You call in the car? How does it even? Okay. Ah! Oh, here they come. Ah! Oh! 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 Ah! Oh! Oh! No more target. Disintegrator. Power module. Oh. Friend. Oh. Raider. 
no longer alive, friend. Unfortunately. Oh. Raider is unconscious. <laughs> oh, they're going to get him. Oh, <laughs> bye. Another alien? Oh, it's a feral ghoul. Oh, jeez. Wait, from where? Another raider? It, I guess. Uh, 44 Magnum. Repair. Who's this? Glowing one. There, you two fight. <laughs> no more glowing one. Are there any actual friend here? Are you friend? Oh. Time to tear you apart. No. Alien worm food, alien bio gel. Oh, fever. Ah! How? It's on my screen now, radioactive gore. And it won't go away. Oh, now it did. Oh, I missed. Five millimeter rounds. Alien bio gel. Oh, purified water, advanced radiation suit, pack of cigarettes, radix, more radix. Okay. Captive log seventeen. Argelian crystal. Metro ticket. Pre war money. Pack of cigarettes. Pre war money. Pencils. Listen to this captive blog. Oh. 
Okay. That's, uh, not a functioning log. Trying to get launch codes, but that didn't even function, so... Cryo storage. Captive recorded log 25. Oh man, I've seen this on TV. You gonna eat me? Aren't you? I like some sort of delicacy on your planet, right? Right? Well, I hope you choke. I hope you stump your stupid little green faces. Choke to death. Unless this is like that other show where I get put in some sort of weird alien zoo. Uh, that might be okay. Some weird alien zoo. Oh. Blank range with Tesla cannon and an epoxy rocket launcher. Slow, yeah, it's the one thing that does damage, though. The one thing that I feel does damage, anyway. I don't really, uh, I don't like the alien stuff. Maybe the shock baton is no, not even the shock baton doesn't really feels like it doesn't really do damage like the Tesla cannon does. The only thing about it, though, is no. close range, I'm gonna be hurting myself with it, so... Alien <laughs> power module. Alien epoxy. And another power module. What did I just release? That thing. Now try and hide you from this. Oh, okay. Super mutants. Oh, okay, they'll fight him. That's fine. This way. Oh, that's just down to, to down here. I'm good. Just go... Just go on my way. Don't know what that is. 
but now it's active. Ooh, time to break this. Engineering. Oh. Where did they go? do a manual save here because I didn't save for how long now? Uh, I think I'm gonna keep going. I'll just, uh, I'll just wait till the game crashes. Alien power module, alien squid food, large alien crystal. Small alien crystal. Worm food. Another alien crystal. Oh, I can pick these up. Small alien crystal, large alien crystal. Can't go through there. There's a control panel down here somewhere that will let me through. Okay, it does not seem like it. Drone pod requires a drone control device to activate. Need a drone control device. over here. Small crystals. There. And... Impacts. Millennium Falcon. now. No more. there. Fell off the edge. Alien epoxy.
Well, that's open. Alien large crystals. Another alien atomizer, but I already have mine fully repaired. Drone controller up here. No, not in that room at least. Pylon control. Is there like a certain pattern? This is just... <laughs> okay. Open up. What did I just do? Okay. It caused noises. Large crystals, small crystals. Okay, this is just the other side. Three alien epoxy and one large alien crystal. Core engineering. Cargo hold. This place is confusing AF. This object is activated from somewhere else. Yeah, I have no clue where I'm going. <laughs> at all. So... I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Like, what direction or anything. Epoxy, alien power module. Back that way, I guess. I'm exploring though before I do do it anyway, so I remember feeling constantly lost. Yeah. Oh, sexy sleepwear. <gasps> Turret? Here, but where oh, right there. I see. No more turret. What is this? Oh, guardian drones. No more. Alien biogel, power module, drone cannon. Now, now is this? Oh, yep, this is it. Jeez, okay. Value 1170. 
damage, 120. It's a one shot, just like what I was already using anyway, so... Repair, full repair, as much as I can, at least. 1566 value. Damage, 132. Okay. Well then I'll use this now, then. Really now? What the heck? Like, bounces. Oh. Okay. Oh yes, I do see. Frag mines. I guess I'll take him just to take him, but I don't think I'm gonna use him. Chinese assault rifle. Hey now. I think I still prefer the Tesla cannon. At least for the turrets. Oh yeah. Because it's an actual directed shot. Okay. This is just kind of bouncy. Ooh. That works. Intact garden gnome. What else is on this conveyor belt? Well, this was minigun. New colas taking this minigun. I have ammo for it, so flamer taking all of these. I'll use the flamer because that does more damage. 44 magnum rounds, 5 5 or 5 millimeter, not 5 5 6. 308. 5 millimeter energy cells, 44 magnum rounds, 308 caliber, flamer fuel. I have 2,634 <laughs> reserve fuel. 556 five, rounds, energy cells, shotgun shells. Mini nuke. Take that. Power armor, power helmet. I already have regular power armor and a power helmet. And I'll take the snipe rifle to repair the reservist rifle. There we go. Combat helmet, combat armor, pain spike armor. Oh, that works. Okay. I'll just use the flamer. Any other weapon? Not needed. As long as it doesn't break. Oh yeah. That. That works. Because it does 80 damage. And that's like, almost as much as the Tesla cannon, with one shot. Ooh, read Underwood's terminal. Downstairs. Remote unlock safe. Unlocking. Okay. Log entry 411-2063. They think we're stupid, that we have no idea what they're up to, but we know. Barbed wire, topped fences, and security cameras be damned. We'll get 
to we'll get the truth to come out if it's the last thing we do. The conspiracy has to end, and we will be the ones who drag it from the shadows and cast it into the spotlight for all to see. They deny everything. They deny the place even exists. But here we are, faced with armed guards who patrol the dunes and robotic sentries calculating our every move. They're careful, but not careful enough. They found a loophole, a way in, and I mean to exploit it soon. Log entry 4-15-2063. We've done it. We have it in our hands. The smoking gun, the evidence we need to prove that everything they've told the world is a lie. Now let's try to see them weasel their way out of this one and make petty excuses. The only reason they've been so successful this long is because of the lack of proof on our part. Now that's all over. As soon as the coast is clear, we're bringing this thing to the press. But for now, we need to lay low. No telling how long it'll take before they discover how we did it. Log entry 416-2063. They're closing in. How did they find out? What did we miss? I thought we'd covered our tracks, but there must be something we'd forgotten. The security logs were completely erased. The inventory files were rewritten. The only leaves... That only leaves Dr. Morley. That bastard. He approached us, saying he wanted to crack the conspiracy wide open. And all the while, he was playing us like fools. He just wanted to expose us, to bring us out into the open so they could eliminate us. Well, it's not going to work. They'll never find us. They'll never get their hands on the item. Log entry 501-2063. Banks is dead. Combs is dead. I'm the only member of the Quarverum left. I'm not certain how much longer I'll be safe here. I'm placing this item inside a specifically, a specially constructed safe with a remote lock trigger. It'll take a damn genius hacker to get into this terminal and the safe can withstand anything they throw at it. Tomorrow I take the terminal and the safe and I'm going to bury it out in the desert where they'll never find it. Hopefully one day someone else will discover the item and realize they hold the key to unlocking the truth. All they need to do is succeed where we have failed. Good luck to us all. Okay. Oh, there's a safe... a safe somewhere, I would guess. The question is, where? Mail drop box. Desk. Might be on the conveyor belt somewhere, considering that was there. Plasma grenade, plasma grenades, ammunition box, 10 millimeter rounds. Okay, I thought that might have been another ammo box, but I guess not. Ooh, more railway spikes. I did try that on them already. It was not as effective as I would think. Missiles. I already have a missile launcher, just not on Fox er, and not at the house because it was given to the Brotherhood member uh, companion. BBs. Oh, Medex. Medex. Psycho. Two jets. Guess I can go this way to get this stuff. Stim packs. Oh, heck yeah. Nine bottle caps. Okay, I already saw this stuff. It's all that. Your money. Any sugar bombs? No. Ooh, ooh bottle cap mine. Another bottle cap mine. Scope 44 Magnum. Pair this other one with it. I'm probably just gonna sell it anyway when I get back. 
Ooh, another BB gun. I already have one at the house. Alt rifle. Ooh, flamer fuel. Take that. Oh, more flamer fuel? I have almost 3,000. Electron charge pack. Do you go to bed very late as late as the next day, lol, or do you get up super early? Um What ends up happening is I go to bed like I go to bed early, I guess, comparatively. Uh to time everybody else I know goes to bed and basically I wake up like maybe a few hours later or something and then I just get on and stream that's that's usually what happens usually I I either do that or I go back to sleep and uh yeah this is one of those times I felt like streaming instead of sleeping so I understand. Yeah. It's just like... Well, and sometimes I do try to go back to sleep and then I just don't sleep still. So, even then sometimes I just get on because, well... If I can't... If I'm not able to sleep, then I'll just do something else. I want to go to bed at 10 in the evening, but it always becomes that... ...so that I go to bed at 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I used to stay up till like... ...5 a.m. Uh-oh. And, uh... I would like sleep for one hour before going to school. So... I, I did that for like years, and uh, now I try to go to bed at 9, and I'd like to wake up at like 6 a.m., you know? Like, that would probably be my ideal time to get up, maybe like 5, 6, but usually I wake up at like 3, 3 a.m. if I go to bed at 9, so... I can go to bed later, but even then, then I just wake up like way later than I'd want to. Because if I go to bed at like 12 o'clock, uh, you know, 12 a.m., I just wake up uh, like at 10 o'clock, so. Sounds like you are a light sleeper then. Yeah, I could literally get a message on my phone and get woken up by like the vibration. So. I don't know, I don't know what, what you classify as a light sleeper, but that seems like pretty light to, to me. I don't know what it is. I mean, I started not having my TV on at night because, I mean, there's, I don't feel like there's really a point and it doesn't really... I don't think it helps me really sleep, so I just turn it off before I go to bed now. But I used to have it on all the time when I go to sleep. If I didn't have a job or a diabetic GF who needs to get up at the same time every day, I would sleep, sleep, sleep. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I just don't... I don't like to sleep too far, like, into the day. Because I actually do like to do things during the day, so... <sighs> Alien power modules, small crystal. And I mean, I do try to work on 
things too while I'm while I don't have like anything else to do like I oh. like I try I try to make music and I try to do like art for uh, like my Twitch channel and YouTube and stuff so Either that or like doing stuff with my computer, anything. I have a neighbor who wakes up at 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon that he has to do all the chores and shit when the day is at its finest. And in the evening, he is tired again. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't like, I don't like doing that. Usually the latest I get up is like... Like, at the very latest, like, 12 o'clock, uh, nightmare lifestyle. I mean, I don't know. I just... I've already had the experience of waking up at, like, 2 or 3 in the afternoon, and right now I don't really like it. Not yours, I meant. Yeah, my friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's fine. You seem to have sleep covered well. Hey, questionable. Even if I sleep... ...in healthy views... Even if I sleep for... ...however long... ...sometimes I still feel tired. Like, uh... I think the best... When I feel the best is when I sleep for 12 hours. Literally 12 hours. Go to bed at 9 and wake up at 9 and that's probably when I feel the best. But that usually doesn't happen, so... I've had like maybe a handful of times that has happened. Where I actually could sleep like that. 12 hour sleep, I haven't done that since I was like 16. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I used to sleep, here's the thing, I used to go to bed at 4 a.m. and then wake up at like 8 a.m. I used to get four hours of sleep no matter what, all the time, but not anymore. I wake up by myself after seven to eight hours for some reason, I can't go back to sleep, yeah. I don't, like, I don't get it, you know, where the recommended amount of sleep is like, you know, seven to eight hours, I think. So, why does 12 hour sleep <laughs> feel better than that? It might be something with like sleep cycles or whatever, but I don't, I still feel, you know, like slightly tired even if I go to sleep and get that much sleep. It's not going anywhere. Like seven to eight, not twelve hours. But then again, you know, I sleep too long. I don't. I still feel tired too. So, and it's it's hard for me to even sleep for that long. Okay, here we go. Why don't we just hold on to him and try to negotiate? Y you know, like a hostage. And how are we supposed to do that? We can't understand what the hell they're saying. I don't know. But maybe we should... There must be something. No sense discussing it now. Hey, Soma. Can you tell me how it all ends up? You know, what happens down there? Could I have done anything like about that? There? Is it still the same? Same as when you were down there, you mean? Yeah. I mean, everything was all blown up and really dirty. There were lots of sick people everywhere, too. And lots of people crying. That about sums it all up. The world is still a huge mess. <sighs> I wish they could fix that. 
hated being down there. There isn't anyone left to fix anything. Everything's in ruins, people are still fighting to survive, and I don't see anything that can change that. Maybe we should just stay up here then. I hated when it was like that. Hey, at least down there we're free. Well, most of us anyway. So let's just get the hell out of here. I feel like I can do something about that. I don't want to have the the alien die. <laughs> Protect him. He's not going anywhere. Oh, hey, what's up? And how are we supposed to do that? Well, what do you want? Oh, I didn't even ask these. Tell me how you were captured by these aliens. Doesn't matter now. Only important thing is... Well, I guess it's revenge. What do you think the aliens want with us? Doesn't matter. They're not getting it, whatever it is. Can you tell me more about where you're from? Can't say as it matters. Oh wait, I did ask like this. Anyway. At least. Oh, speech 100. I found this recording of you. Do you want to talk about your family? So you... You know? There's not much more to say. It wasn't just me sucked up into this place. My wife and my boy, too. I can still hear them. Crying out to me. Begging me to save them. And there wasn't a damned thing I could do. They were... They were everything to me, you know? So now I've got nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you for telling me what happened to you. No sense in dwelling on it now. Let's just get out of here. What do you know about this Tashiro Kago guy? Some sort of foreigner, obviously. Can't make out a word he's saying. Can this... will this break the encounter? I mean, I may need an extra gun in the hangar bay. Can you lend a hand? Well, now you're speaking my language. Hell yeah, I'll come with you. I have to go now. Fine, I'll be here. Please. We can't understand what the hell they're saying. Oh no, it doesn't. I don't know, but maybe we should. Yeah. What is? I think you should remain in the engineering corps for now. Fine. If I see any aliens, I'll say hello for you. I have to go now. Fine, I'll be here. There no. must be something. No. No sense discussing it now. Alien epoxy. Okay, well I guess I'll tell world map. Hangar. Robot assembly. Cryolab. Why? Okay, well, I guess I'll just go to the markers now that I've explored a little bit. I'm surprised the game hasn't crashed yet. Maybe this isn't as effective as I thought. But I have ammo for it. It's cryo storage. Well, I guess I'm going to the cryo storage then. Oh. I didn't get that one. I see. Okay. Is that what I was supposed to do? That's it? Oh nope. 
Okay, so I just destroy the generators, I guess? I've been here once before. Oh right, I wasn't able to get in here. Save here. Load. Module small alien crystal. Step back. Get shot in the back. working as, uh, as well as I would have planned. How about this? Okay, no. again.
Here, this will work. Through the doorway, please. Used like thirty something stim packs now. Back to this, I guess. module, large alien crystal. Power modules and squid food. Biogel, power module. How many of them are there? Is that it? It's the robot now? Oh nope, here comes another. Okay. Oh, here comes the support drones. Jeez. Leveled up. <laughs> Alien epoxy. Power module. I guess I'll pick up the cannon and repair the other one. Yep. Okay. From over there. Oh. <laughs> well, here they come. walls. Ow. Oh jeez. Are there like infinite enemies or something like that? is happening. Oh. Well, 
maxed big guns. The level up when killing an enemy is a classic shocker sometimes. <laughs> yeah. There. 79 for... Oh. Mm -hmm. 278. And get... Mm, melee up to 77. Yeah. Well, size matters. I already have 100 on big guns. Now what else is there? Party boy. You are such a party boy that you no longer suffer the withdrawal effect from alcohol addiction. Oh. I thought it was gonna say chems. Cause I would've just started using them right now. But nope. So I'm not going to use them at all, still. Uh... Yeah, chem resistance would have been awesome. Okay, I don't... Child at heart, because nothing in here just seems like uh, something I really care about. Done. In Fallout 4, there's a chemist perk. Support bot. Get out of here. No more, please. I'm surprised it even let me level up with, like them being that close. Okay, that's that. Now can I blow up the generator? Or we'll get into the one room that I was not able to get into before. have a drone controller. Oh yep, here goes. Shockton disintegrator. Gems! Gonna stand back. Okay. Worm food. Oh, I can't use that now. Because I waited for it to explode. Squid food. All alien crystals. Okay. I'm out of here. Oh, and the indicator's broken. Save. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Doesn't work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna load and see if it will start working again. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm gonna quit and 
open the game again. I've never really realized how many perks that are useless in this game, doubly if you don't use vats. I mean... They're not necessarily useless, they're just things that... I don't know. Like, the ones that are more specific, like if you really want to play the game that way. Like, you have a choice to do so, it's just, you know... It's like you figure you figure out how to make them effective. You know, you have the choice. And, you know, they may not seem directly effective in the way of like, I don't know, doing like increased damage or something like that, but you know, maybe you can figure out a way to make it more uh to your advantage, you know. I don't <laughs> I don't know how to use it, so I don't even go for it. That's uh that's basically basically it. Or I just think, oh hey, this seems more interesting. You know, like the animal friend perk, for instance. You know, someone might not choose that because it's like, well, whatever, I can just, you know, I could just kill them or, you know, but no, no. Animal friend, you know. Animal is friend. Why kill animal? And if I had the second uh like level I could actually have them attack without them having to be attacked or me having to be attacked. They would just go attack I think. They would be instantly friendly and do that for me. Rather than waiting. Robot assembly. Oh, alarm time. Yep, here we go. Alien workers. Remotely overload turret circuitry. Melee, get out of here. Feels like I'm doing more damage now for some reason. I mean, the hit detection might have been slightly glitched before. Rewire controller for proximity explosion. Oh, okay. Ow. It feels like I'm actually resisting more damage too for some reason. Maybe my items were glitched. Yeah, like I'm not taking... I feel like not nearly as much damage as before. Even to my own like... Okay, the Tesla cannon shot still does like... <laughs> the same damage I think but so still I'll still try not to like be right next to the thing I'm shooting at where the heck is the generator is it up top and I just like didn't go up there so 
not able to use that. assembly line. Ooh. <laughs> Hitbox bug mania like yesterday. Yeah, like with the the ghoul glitchers. <laughs> crystals Just back here again there's not a way up through there so up here I guess somewhere oh no this is the entrance slash exit yep Oh, there's three disintegrators in there. Good. <laughs> Just drop it. Alien crystal, small alien crystal, power module. Crystal and large alien crystal. Is the audio still synced up? Because I remember yesterday it was just broken as well. Sounds fine to me, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Am I even supposed to be back here, really? Okay, there's stuff back here, so... Teddy bear. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. In here. Drone cannon. Pair that one. Ooh. I mean, power module. Drone cannon. I think I'll just take the drone cannons for their value. Power module. Power module. Another drone cannon. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Because their weight. Let's keep two of them. I'll get back like the thousand I spent on repairing my stuff. Teleportation matrix to robot assembly. Let's go to the generator. Ooh. Arch alien crystals. It's a kickball. Uh, 
Um, it says over here. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I go in here, I see. Jeez, alright. These drones. Ah. You wanna... You wanna stop that, please? Okay, there we go. Uh-oh, they're releasing him. Oh, it just blew one of them up. Un, un accidente. Darn you drones. That's enough. Power module. Ooh, drone control device. Squid food. Are they friendly now? Oh, yes they are. Give me. You cannot... Activate another pod while a drone device is active. Oh, I should have did it. I'll just do... Yeah, here we go. Guardian drone. Let's go. Now we can go get him. Sick ball. Yes. Okay, there it goes. I just realized I could have came here first and then got the drone and gone through the other ones. But it might have died anyway to the hangar uh, area because of what was happening there. Get away from it, it's gonna blow, robot. Oh, there it goes. Large crystals. More large, oh, small crystals, actually. There we go. Does it not come with me? I guess not. Well, now I have a control unit so I can also control drones. Core engineering. Oh, nope, I do have it still. Sick. Oh jeez. God, it's firing. Might actually end up blowing me up. Wow! You did it! Now you're gonna have to go outside of the ship. I know it looks scary, but that's the only way to the top. Oh, make sure you wear a spacesuit before you go out there, or you could die. Don't forget. Don't forget. <laughs> okay. Spacesuit time. <laughs> oh, I can't see my face through the visor. I don't know what you would even call it. Just the glass. Airlock door to decompression chamber. Oh, here goes. Well, I'm going to figure out what happens if you don't. <laughs> Time to die. Maybe.
Yep. <laughs> okay, your head just explodes, I see. Very nice. Very cool. Okay. Headshot from lack of oxygen. Yeah. Space just headshotted me. Killed by a world. Like when you fall or something. In uh, like a source game. Or like, get killed by a world object that was on the map. Oh, what the heck. I can't jump, like, further. I don't understand. Oh, another exposed panel. I can't bring out my Tesla cannon. Okay, so I guess you don't break them. Just close them. I see. Okay. Up I go. Quest completed among the stars. <laughs> okay, it's another decompression chamber. I didn't know that. Oh, now I have to go do it again. Well, that's, that's okay. Now I know. That is just three. They spawn killed me. What the heck? I just got into the game. I just joined the lobby. Let me do it again. Woo! Added this galaxy ain't big enough. Okay. Ow, 
Bye. So now I'm able to... Yes, okay. The engineering core. Well, I'm gonna search these before I do that. Power module, squid food. 13 power modules. What does this do? Oh. I'll get the door. Okay. Oh, here we go. I heard them. Oh. Hey, I'm it's so pretty, isn't it? Didn't think I'd ever see something like this. Hey, I'm Yeah. I save it. Nice view, bruh. <laughs> yeah. I save it, I save it. I put away this actually so I can do this. <laughs> Are they in the save? Pocket. I sure hope they don't figure out where we are. This time I don't think they're going to put me back in his cell. Did you see that? No. Scary, but also kind of a stupid move on their part, don't you think? What the hell was that? Pretty obvious, wasn't it? They're putting on a big show trying to scare us. It means we're getting under their skin. That's a good thing. Of course, now it looks like we've got a big death ray thing we need to take down before they blow up the whole damn planet. But it's nice to know we're having an effect, don't you think? Oh, they shot something down there? I didn't see it. Turn this one off too. You're going to have to find the other end and turn it back on. Okay, you wait here. I'll see if I can find the controls. Good luck. We'll stay right here and wait for you. Oh, here we go. Oh, large alien crystals. to biological research. Wait. Oh, it's saying this, but... Hope we find what we're looking for soon. You 
hate the little girl's voice. Why? What's wrong with... What's wrong with the voice? Missile. Missile. Carton of cigarettes. Oh. Oh! Guardian drone. You are back. It's a 30 plus woman making a silly voice. No, no. That's an, that's an, not true. Where, where's your evidence? Maybe not. I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know any of the voice actors for any of these games. Stealth boy. Ooh. I want. But inventory is now full. You be the judge. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> I do... I do know someone who sounds like her, so... But I don't know how old they are. <laughs> Pre-war money. Frag grenade, frag grenade, frag grenade. Frag grenade. Oh yeah, I dropped that minigun so now I can pick up, I think, all the stuff. Shells, 308 caliber rounds. Was that stuff always there? Because if it was, I never recognized that it was. Not really sure where to go to actually get that activated. module 
Is it another teleporter or what? Jeez. Oh, power modules. Module, squid food, alien crystal. Ooh. Oh, I can't get in. Never even noticed that. Alien squid. Mm. Uh, is this it? No. If I close the door, Can it still come through. Oh, it can. Indicator went away. What? Let's disable the death ray. Reach the bridge of the alien ship. Oh, I guess I. Wait, what? Okay, I was about to say. My indicator went away. Oh, workbench. Okay, just... To make stuff. Thought maybe it could repair. None of these panels. What about these ones? No. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this. Oh, well, here goes. Teleporters powered down. Ah. Is oh. a robot not able to get in here?
the rob bot. <laughs> Can the rob bot not get in? I'll just be taking these. Bio gel. No more, please. No more from you either, turret. Jeez. Why did I just blow up? Whatever it was, it <laughs> ripped off my arm. Jeez! Oh, it's one of these robots, that's what it is. No more. I lost karma. Door controls. Activate door. So it still says my other drone is active. It's just not here. Alien worm food. Alien crystal. Weapons. Power module. Power cells. Did I pick up the other toy? Disc. Yes, I did. Ooh, but they're worth 150, so. Alien epoxy, biogel. Oh, well, I can just shoot it while it's in there then. Oh, there's my drone. I'll get 50 XP for blowing it up still, I think. Why not? Power down. Oh! Oh! Here you go, you do it. Oh, they broke it. it took one shot to break it. Out of here, support drone. Oh, oh. Ooh. and I'm dead. Too, too much, too close. And here I go again. Just go pick up the stuff that I did last time. Oh. Oh. Critical strike. Oh. 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 Get out of here, guardian drone. One more shot. Ah! Bio gel, module, worm food, crystal. 
the other toy. And I think that's everything in here. Blow this up. Because XP. Critical strike. What? Okay, I was about to say, it still says it's alive. Does aiming give you more criticals? Because I have not been aiming at all this entire time. And if that's the case, I could have been doing more damage, possibly. Damaging it. Ah! Get out of here, Guardian Drone. Okay, I think hitboxes are broken again. Slightly. Observation deck. Oh, that's just back here. Guardian drone. I accidentally came back this way. Okay. Guess I'll go through again. Not able to go that way. door down there. Oh, and there's not anything over here as far as I know. Worm food, alien crystal, more alien crystals, our module.
Biogel. Okay, I don't know where to go to activate stuff. To activate the, uh... Oh wait. Oh no, this door is still... Still not open. I thought I hit the... I guess that door switch does not account for that, so... I thought it did. Not one there. There's not anything over here as far as I seen. Nope. Okay, yeah, that controls that door. Module, worm food. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! There, got him. Thought the hitbox wasn't gonna work, but it does. I go. Small alien crystal, large alien crystals, squid food, power module. Save manually. damage does this do now? 86. Mm, these do 113. Maybe I will just go walk up to him with it. Oh. Okay. Not them though. <laughs> lab? Nope. Hello. Worm food. He went to the oh. other side. Oh. 
Come this way, please. No. I didn't want to kill them with that. Okay. Yeah, those don't do as much damage as I would have wanted them to. So... Back to the Tesla cannon it is. No more. Power module, one food. Power module. Anything to activate this remote? Just in pack and jet. Our module. Hey, door. Bio gel. Another door. Like crystals. Large. Large, large. Alien epoxy. Activate door. Jet, purified water, and a stim pack. Bio gel. Another thing to break, I guess. Poxy. Oh, captive recorded log ten. I can't feel my legs. What did you do to my legs? Frank? I can't see you! Frank! Frank! What, what did they do to you? Oh, it released them. Power module, large alien crystal, small alien crystals. Worm food, alien crystals. Oh, there is biogel. Abomination. No, no, no abomination, friend. Friend if no attack. Small alien crystal. Pre war money. Okay. 
chests are already open. Anyway. Okay. Back this way I go then. Because I guess those were just holding cells. Biological research. Alien epoxy. Blow these up before they even get to attack. Another abomination. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ouchie. was like glitched. Um, I think it still is, kind of. More crystals, worm food. Alien epoxy, large crystals, alien biogel. Uh, did I come from this way? Yeah. I go up here through this door. Power module, squid food. Worm food, power module, squid food, power module. That it? To death ray hub. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was the one. Here they are. One more. Oh nope, two yeah, one more. Just the, just them, okay. Oh, they went right to the death ray. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> they saying alien? 
Activate door. Arrow in. Arrow in. Oh. Look out. Aliens? Who'd have believed it? This is nuts! Can you make me some uh, adapted biogel? Sure, here you go. <laughs> they should work pretty well, but watch out for side effects. 21 alien biogels removed. 21 adapted biogels added. Crystal power module. Hey now, no more. Finally, this is breaking enough where I'm reloading double, basically. Go back and get it repaired. Powered down. Okay, so maybe I cannot do that. EXP Power module This way, I guess. Oh! 
Oh, death ray control. Not touching any of the controls because I don't know if they do. I'll read my quest objective. Tareth thy brave. What emote is that? Cerno TV. How's it going? <laughs> Almost at the end of this, I think. The uh, mothership Zeta. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what the actual name. Not of this world. Yeah, there we go. Not of this world. I completed that quest, but that is the beginning quest. This galaxy ain't big enough. Now, I just need to disable the death ray and reach the bridge of the alien ship. And I guess, uh, possibly kill the captain? Oh. Oh, I see. This shoots it in this. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not firing towards the earth. As far as I know, it's firing off somewhere else. Oh. Uh oh. I don't want to do that. Alien crystal. Saving. Saving because I am going to do it, but. Hey, I just did something. Okay, and that just brings it back. That just points it back there. Yeah, I'm gonna load back. I don't want to, uh... Keep firing. You know, I'm gonna load back from before it even got fired once, because I don't want to, uh... I wanna make sure I didn't blow up anything.
out of here. Get back. Wait for them to come to get me. Shoot at them. Shoot at them again. Oh, they're right there. I didn't realize. Okay, I'm alive. Thought I was gonna end up shooting myself with that and dying. Power modules and squid food. Alien crystal. Okay. Here I go. Open this one up. This time I did not fire the the death ray. It does one at a time, I see. And... There it goes. Next one. gonna say thought there were enemies meant to be coming out or something while I was doing this okay time to spam more stim packs One last one, and then I can get out of here, out of this death way, death ray room at least. No, no, no more. No more. No more, please. Okay. Actually, starting to run out of stim packs. Down to 99. Ooh. There we go. Condition's a little bit, uh... Oh yeah, my condition on this thing is like... What, maybe... Tw maybe over 25%, but still. Last one. Disabled. Now, ooh, to the living quarters. There. 
not able to get through there at the current moment. There's something to disable that. Oh, it is disabled now. Squid food, worm food, alien crystal, power modules. Oh. Alien epoxy and power module. Through this door I go. Ah. Oh. I'm just gonna hide right here. And stim pack again. Oh, those turrets. That one. Now the other one. There it is. Okay. Ooh, stasis chamber. Okay. What about in here? Alien epoxy, more stasis chambers. Health thing, but I think I have more health than it will give me anyway. Stasis chambers, nothing there. Okay. Heck, did I just. Oh, box on the table. Oh. Oh, this thing. Oop, container. Oxy, power module, squid food, alien crystal. Down here I go. I can't disable that even from that side. Support drone. Blowing this thing up. Because 50 XP. Ooh. Ooh. Just keep doing this. Crystal power module. Oh, five on the robot. I heard it, but I didn't know where it was at first. Oh no. Damaging myself with that. Because the range. Turret frenzied. I can frenzy the turrets.
What does this do now? 72. Switch the flamer, maybe? Oh, yeah. Okay, these ones have more damage resistance. Flamer does not work in this situation. How about frag grenade? Oh. How about <laughs> the submachine gun? Okay, yeah, that's, uh... This might not work either. How about... Assault Rifle. Okay, how about some more stim packs? Power module, worm food, power module. Forgot about the turrets in here. Another turret that isn't able to see me, I guess, at that angle. Defeat the alien captain. Okay. Biogel, power module, crystal, crystal. And I'll heal up before I do that. already healed, so... Oh, there. Let's do that. Got it. Oh, right arm crippled. Oh. Oh. Yep. 
alien worm food. Alien crystal. No abominations, please. Oh, to the bridge. I don't know what that does, but... I'm just gonna hold it down. Here the bridge. Okay. Crystal power module. Oh, Captain sidearm. All alien crystal power module. Power module worm food. Okay. Level up. Get all of these. Now, all the weapon categories are at least up to 82 sneak. Yeah, I'm gonna invest into repair. So then sneak and repair will both be at 80. Ninja. The ninja perk grants you the power of the fabled shadow warriors when attacking with either melee or unarmed you gain plus 15% critical chance on every strike sneak attack criticals do 25% more damage than normal ooh if for nothing else then that might be the one to choose when you choose the Escalator to Heaven perk, your karma is instantly set to very good. Oh, well, I think it already is, so... I'm not gonna pick that one. Okay, yep, I think I'm going with that one. Ninja. Unless... What else do I have? Yeah, that one. Ray is not ready to be fired. Wow, this looks just like the bridge on Captain Cosmos. Soma, you go stand over there. Mr. Elliot, you're there. Paulson, you can be Jankles the Moon Monkey. And I get to aim the Death Ray. I am no goddamn space monkey. Beat the attacking alien ship. Okay, well I'm gonna save before this. I'll keep
keep the save at the death ray control. I've got a lock on their ship. Fire when ready. Oh. I never thought I'd get to do something like this. They hit the core and sapped out power. Look around for some buttons or something to restart the generators. Uh, I get all these up. I got something special for you. Paulson no. has died. Oh no. the game it crashed well we'll put up again I mean now I have a save there at least I've got a lock on their ship And sapped out power. Look around for some. Activate. Like activate. Keep up whatever you're doing. Oh no. <laughs> Operation Keep Pulsing Alive. the thing door control where's that not down here
something big. Shields and Elliot are down. We need to end this fast. Done. There it is. We lost one health bar. <laughs> and the light was so bright. Well, I can't believe it. I never thought we'd make it. GG. You're the best. The absolute best. I'd be dead without you, or worse. Thank you so much. Thanks for your help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, come on. We both know you could have. What will you do now? I don't know. I don't really have a place down there anymore, do I? Doesn't sound like it'd suit me very well. Think I'll stick around here for a while. See if I can't figure out some of this technology. You think they'll ever come back? Boy, I sure hope not. But at least we know what to do with them, right? I have to go now. Yep. Not like I'm going anywhere. What can I do for you, Mr. Hotshot Space Captain? If there's more of them out there, that'll make them think twice about attacking us again. And it looks like you're now in charge of your very own spaceship. Well, what's left of it anyway. Congrats! Thanks for your help. Couldn't have done it without you. That's right. If it weren't for me, you'd be sitting in a holding cell or lying on some crazy operating table right now. You owe me big time, kid. What will you do now? I'm gonna see about getting off this thing. Head back to the wasteland with some new toys, maybe carve out a place for myself. Literally, if I have to. Odds are we won't be bumping into each other again, so I just wanted to say thanks. This has been a hell of a ride, hasn't it? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Not really something I'm interested in doing again. Got some more gear for you to fix. Sure. Let me see. Oh. Oh, wow. It actually is up there now. It's actually saying, hey, you can repair this. Damage resistance plus zero if I repair it. Condition plus zero if I repair it. Here, repair my t jeez, repair my Tesla cannon for two thousand five hundred and forty-four caps. Done. I have to go now. Sure thing. Uh, Paulson. So, it's done. I'm not much for talking, so I'll get to it. I owe you. Without you, I'd be dead. Or worse. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to see if I can find a way off this thing. Okay. Anything I can help with? Hey, I thought you should know 
Someone must have hit a button during the fight just now. If I understood the display correctly, I think we sort of launched a homing beacon of some kind down to the surface. Landed just outside DC. I wouldn't mention it, except that I think... Like I said, I'm not sure. I think it's a way to get back to Earth. Seems like there's a teleporter in the captain's quarters. I mean, I guess they're your quarters now. So I, I guess you can go home if you want. Oh, don't worry, I I'll stick around up here and keep an eye on things. Right here? No. Captain's quarters. <laughs> Engineering core. There, heal. Don't go back to Earth, go to the next planet. Can you legitimately do that or no? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't even know where the captain's quarters is. Does this show me? Oh, okay. Just back here. I got it. Workbench. Okay. Back to the capital wasteland I go. Oh. There it is. Congrats on doing the most confusing DLC ever. Uh... Oh, okay. Already? <laughs> Next time, put up a fight! What have you got on your mind? Let's go. And I shall follow. Moonlight Fox. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I don't really think like for me like the navigating a little bit, but it's amazing that people trust Overall, I didn't think it was that that confusing it just I don't know I think I'm gonna say that was probably my least favorite DLC so far cuz like I don't know it just wasn't fun for me to fight the aliens and stuff honestly alien blaster is one of my favorite guns uh, I mean yeah it's it's more content but like Eh. For me it was just kind of... Uh, it wasn't that interesting. And I heard that the gameplay was, you know, fun, but it didn't really seem... Like, uh... Didn't really seem that fun to me, so... And a lot of the same. Yeah, big areas, little content, and a lot of the same. Well, and that's the thing, I thought... I thought maybe there would be more stuff to, like, say or do, like, with characters, but... Eh. Run and find teleporter for the others, fight tons of aliens. Yeah. Well, and the aliens were, like... 
I felt like the health for the aliens was just maybe too much. It wasn't even fun to fight them because it was just firing repeatedly over and over again with any weapon that I was using, even their own weapons. Like, it just felt like it wasn't doing hardly any damage. So, it, it's kind of, uh, eh. I mean, the little thing at the end was, um, I guess, kind of fun, but at the same time, still kind of, eh. Like, it was interesting, I guess, at the very least, but it just doesn't feel like it added a lot to the gameplay. So, I don't know. On to Point Lookout, where maybe... Maybe this one will be more fun than the last. But hey, I did it, so. <laughs> I don't know what uh, I'd rank them. I mean, Broken Steel was right after the Purifier anyway, so. I feel like Broken Steel was probably the smoothest transition from gameplay and stuff and it actually felt like it actually felt like part of the game that was kind of meant to be there and anchorage kind of felt that way but i don't know this just felt like <sighs> it just felt like just more game time, I guess. Not really anything... Like, I wouldn't say it was necessarily bad, but it also... I would say probably wasn't really that good. In my opinion, but... Eh. It is what it is. I finished it. And I now have... Things to sell. <laughs> like... <laughs> Two drone cannons. So. At least I'll get some caps back from repairing my Tesla cannon. Because it was the only weapon that I felt like did damage that entire time. At least damage to the point where it was actually worth using to me. Go to Megaton. Hey. Waiting. Is someone gonna run up to me with something? Broken Steel also means level cap 30, which is nice. Oh, I didn't even realize that. So yeah. That's definitely, um... I mean, but you can get mods for level cap. But I guess if you played on console and, you know, didn't have the option, then... I guess so. That would be nice to have. It just means you don't have to mod the game, but you can just make your level cap like a hundred or something. And you can literally just get all the perks and stuff. OG is 20. Though we may seem safe for the moment, it is fleeting. So I'm going to go to the supply. I don't even think I'm able to sell <laughs> sell that anywhere, barely. Because like... Something? Oh, that's water processing plant. Because the amount of caps yes. that it is that I'd get from it, I think is so much that nobody will have the caps for it. Unless I just buy a bunch of stuff from them to trade for it. <laughs> Items aid. Wait a second. Wait. Seven hours. Oh, 
Oh, hey! Kinda busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? Let me see what you have for sale. What do you need? Here we go. Yeah, 346 caps. But stim packs, please. Caravans come to Megaton just outside the entrance. Do they have... Do they have enough caps to still make it? If you wait 24 hours, the next caravan guy will come. Oh, okay. So you can sell, wait, and repeat. Okay. Here, take these Nuka Colas. And this Psycho. And some of this Radix. Rat away. Stealth boys. Nope, too much. Misc. All these alien crystals. All packs of secrets. Do two? Nope. Eight caps. Do I have anything worth eight caps? I don't think so. Maybe like eight hundred, one thousand, twelve hundred, I don't know. Let me see how much it's worth. Oh yeah, it's like... They're worth... 1,287, these two. Oh, Flamer, here you can take this. I actually have one, just not on Fox or myself or at my house. Good hunting! I have to go now. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. How much flamer fuel do I have? Let me check that. Because I... Oh yeah, I think I'm going to con consider getting that back. But I have to go to the... Citadel for that. In order to increase the caps they have, you have to invest in them with Uncle Row at Canterbury Commons. Mm. I don't even know where that is. I don't even think I've been there. Oh, there it is. Go to... Oh. Yeah, I'll go to the Temple of the Union. And I'll just make like a marker on the map. Fox. 
I have no clue what's being shot at, but I guess I'll check. Oh. Got it? Okay. Hey. <sighs> Is this gonna one shot now on them? Eh, two shot. One shot. Am I max level? No. Okay. I just didn't get XP for it. On charge pack missile. Five millimeter rounds missile. Agonizer's Lair. I'll go in here first. Oh no wait, this is... What? Canterbury Tunnels, okay. It's fine, I'll just run right past that. Ow. Disarm the trap after getting shot by it. Drop it because I already have a combat shotgun. just picked up a rake. <laughs> right away, some packs. I didn't even know I could pick that up, but okay. Switch. 
Oh. Ants. Here, I hear ants. More of them. Oh, there we go. Now Fox is using grenades. And Agonizer's Lair. Coca-Cola Quantum? Water. Bed. Oh. I'm lock picking the ladder. Okay then. Oh, Canterbury Commons discovered. Now... Move it and just go in. There goes. You'll never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the mechanist. You and your pathetic tin cans are no match for oh, there my they are. army. <laughs> Antagonizer. The citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers! Destroy this fool and his tin toys! Go forth, my steadfast citizens! Show these vermin humanity's true power! Face it, Mechanist! Humans and their toys are done for! They killed themselves off with their petty wars! Humans may be weak sometimes, but our creations are strong and pure! Something you'll never be! Fool! Humanity's creations were the seeds of their undoing. And now, the world will belong to the antagonizer! Not while the world is protected by me, the Mechanist! Your reign of terror is at an end! Are you alright? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. What is that all about? Who were, th who were those people? The, um, Mechanist and the Ant Agonizer. That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. A while ago we were attacked by the Ant Agonizer, that woman with the ants, obviously. The Mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. I might be able to help. 
Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the Ant Agonizer and the Mechanist hide and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Double that and you've got yourself a deal. Hmm, you drive a hard bargain, friend. But seeing how we haven't been able to solve the problem ourselves, fine. You've got a deal. But I expect results. Oh, and please do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in our streets. We don't need another. Can I ask you more about the Ant Agonizer and the Mechanist? If it'll help, I'm glad to. What can you tell me about the Ant Agonizer? Now, one day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth, stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Uh, oh, my mouse went off screen. It got real nasty. Oh, uh, uh, okay. What can you tell me about the Mechanist? The Mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town, until it got torn up in one of the Ant Agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal, because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the Mechanist, said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. Know anything else that could help me stop them? My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. That's enough about them. I most heartily agree. What can you tell me about Canterbury Comets? Ha! Damn near everything, I suspect. I founded the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. Why do the traders come here? Because I asked them to, I suspect. I grew up in these trade caravans, known most of them my whole life. I founded this place with my sister Daisy back in the day. Perfect stop along the caravan circuit. Silent talking. It happens. Yeah. Yeah, when I was uh, getting the silent go away when I was in the pit. I remember that. How organized are the traders? They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. Have you thought about organizing the traders into a unified group? I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. Master Trader. Under my organization, they'd see better profits and more bargaining power. My, my. When it comes to sales, I can see even I've got a few things I could learn from you. Well, in that case, I can act as your representative to the caravans. They'll listen to me, and I'll listen to you. Oh. Just let me know what you suggest in the way of specialties, and I'll let them know to focus on that area. Oh, here we go. Food and chems. Armor. Weapons. Probably weapons. Let's talk about weapons. Lucky Harith kind of dropped off the map. Or knowing his wares, he may have burnt a hole straight through it. Let's talk about armor. Our man Crow handles most armor and clothing out on the trail. He grew up a tribal, but he traded in his loincloth for much snappier apparel long ago. He should expand his inventory. It takes a fair amount of capital to expand into higher quality material, you know. Improving Crow's wardrobe would require a one-time investment of, say, 200 caps. 
That means he is probably dead. Oh. Take my advice, it can be done with only a hundred caps. Well, your financial advice has never steered us wrong before. <laughs> done. He should expand his inventory. Crow's armor is already rather extensive, but I'm sure it could be even more impressive for a one-time investment of 500 caps. With my guidance, it can be done with only <laughs> 250 caps. Hmm. I suspect you're right. Done. He should expand his inventory. At this point, the merchandise of our man Crow is the best in the wasteland. I fear it's beyond improvement with further investments. Okay, that's enough about the All traders. Right, you're the boss. Wolfgang will have the highest repair skill. Let's talk about the trade caravans. Sure thing. Which one would you like to talk about? Let's talk about food and chems. I'm afraid the good doctor hasn't reported in for quite a while. Quite unfortunate, really. Oop. Do you have any traders that deal with miscellaneous goods? That'd be Crazy Wolfgang. He does repairs and general supplies, but he prefers to call himself a junk dealer. As he says, he's overjoyed to assist those who have a deep need for his... <laughs> junk. He's just like that. Says it catches people's attention. Can he offer a wider variety of junk? With an investment of about 200 caps, I'm sure he could improve the quality of his materials, or at least offer more of them. Take my advice, it can be done with only a hundred caps. Well, your financial advice has never steered us wrong before. <laughs> done. He should offer even more junk. At this point, it would require another pack Brahmin to carry his wares. But for 500 caps, I think he could offer more. With my guidance, it can be done with only 250 caps. Hmm, I suspect you're right. Done. He should expand his wares further. Carrying an entire junkyard with him, anything more, and he'll have trouble with the traveling part of being a traveling salesman. That's enough about the traders. All right, you're the boss. Oh, there it goes. Anything to trade around here? You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Can you repair something for me? We used to have a better mechanic, but that didn't work out so well. I'll see what I can do. Oh. <laughs> 72 cats. Okay. <laughs> repair all. I have to go now. Good luck with those two troublemakers. No added merchant contract. No added caravan... Merchants. I <laughs> underscore 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 heretofore recognized as the investor do agree to the following after negotiating with the earnest Uncle Roe of Canterbury Commons. An alliance has been struck with the caravan merchants of the Capital Wasteland. As their manager, Roe will oversee their inventories and investments. The investor may dictate each merchant's speci specialties and invest in their wares for improved quality goods. This contract is legally binding in so much as it can be enforced by a hired mercenary with guns and no sense of humor. Signed, underscore, 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 underscore. Caravan trade route. Okay. Caravan merchants. Crow, well suited servant of the spirits. Armor and apparel to protect against the dangers of this world and beyond. Wiki Harith, master of the manifold paths of survival. Weaponry of all flavors for combat combatants of any age. Dokhoff, doctor of excessively applied biochemistry. 
meds, chems, and food at the reasonable prices for the discriminating customer. Crazy Wolfgang, Junk Master Extraordinaire. The right junk for the right job every time. Okay. So then, there's a trade caravan... somewhere? Oh. Yep. Hey. Keep it on the level, and everything will be fine. Welcome, welcome! My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted, but I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. Tell me about your trade caravan. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. I'm here to buy. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Okay. Carton of cigarettes. A death call hand. I still have a drone control device. It weighs three. I'm gonna keep it because I'll just put it in the house at Megaton. Metro tickets, pencils. Here we go. Pre war money. Do I have any weapons to sell? Um... Drone cannon. Yeah, I, I can't even sell it here either. Frag mine. Except didn't give the right dialogue. Talk to him again when done. Okay. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I have to go now. Stay safe on the path you travel. And here you are. The spirits have blessed me with many gifts, but you have given the more marketable gift of monetary investment. Oh, there it is. Please accept this offering. A mask and helmet made from the hide of the wisest spirits of the wind. May it benefit you as fully as it has myself. Oh, okay. Crow's iBot helmet. Sick. I have an iBot helmet, but I didn't have Crow's iBot helmet. I have to go now. Stay safe on the path you travel. Let me see. Something troubling you, my friend? Let's trade a quick. Yes. By all means. Okay, you don't oh, have it. I thought maybe... I thought maybe folks had the, uh, other... Other one. That I had, the... I bought helmet. Here 
Here, take some more plasma grenades. And frag grenades. Let's go. And I shall follow! What's different about it, though? That's the question. Is it the same as the other I bought helmet? I think so. Perception plus one. Evening. Hey there. Hey. I'm just here to protect the merchandise. So what, now I can... Can't wait while enemies are nearby. Oh. Good enough. Oh. Hello. There they are. So now if I wait... 24 hours... Will the other caravan be here? Wait again. Not necessarily. Did Ro give you the caravan map? Yes. I did get the caravan map. Oh, there we go. Oh no, just Crow hey again. There. Dominic Del Delisandro. We oh, appreciate Del you taking care of our town's little problem. Newcomer to town, huh? Well, I'm Dominic Delisadro, and welcome to Canterbury Commons. Try to ignore the idiots in the costumes. Popular activities around town are trading, listening to row yap, and burying thieves in unmarked graves. Of course, we ran out of thieves to bury long ago. Saw to it myself. Might be a dead art, unless you're planning on stealing anything. No worries, I wasn't planning on stealing anything. Sounds like a good plan. Keeps the traders happy that way. And it means Machete and I get to save on ammo. What do you know about the Antagonizer and Mechanist? Bro hired you to put a stop to their shit, did he? Guess he finally listened when I told him I haven't got the time to do it myself. It's easy enough to hide inside when those two square off, but they're only getting worse about it all. Killing thieves, what's next? Cutting a limb off for sneezing? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> what can you tell me about the antagonizer? I don't know who she is, other than a crazy with an ant suit and a chip on her shoulder for humanity. She wasn't much trouble by herself, really. Her attacks were a joke. But at least stories of her kept some of the raiders at bay. If it helps, she was always attacking from the Warrens up north. Maybe you can find her ant nest in there. What can you tell me about the Mechanist? You mean Scott Walensky? I refuse to call him by that ridiculous name just because his head got a screw loose. He used to be a damn good friend, and not just because he fixed my guns up. Now he spends all his time up in that bot shop, 
just thinking about fighting that ant agonizer. Hardly even recognizes his own name anymore. Know anything else that could help me stop them? If you could just make either one of them stop fighting, it'd do the trick. You probably wouldn't have to worry about the other one. I can't imagine Scott attacking the town with his robots, and that Ant Agonizer girl was never much more than a sideshow freak by herself. Ro may prefer that you're thorough, but all I care about is that you get the job done, one way or the other. That's enough about them. Fine by me. What can you tell me about Canterbury Commons? Canterbury's a good town. Rose done a damned good job setting up the place, and no one can handle the day-to-day -day details like him. But when it comes to the big stuff, that's when he needs a little help. That's where I come in. What do you mean, the big stuff? Life and death matters. Putting down thieves. Protecting people from raiders who are short-sighted or stupid enough to attack, that sort of thing. Pretty much. Anything the man can't solve by talking at it. And don't misunderstand. He can solve a lot of things that way. How did you get this position? I'm about the rarest thing out here in the wastes. A mercenary who lived long enough to retire. I used to sell my services around here, so it was a natural place to settle down. Not a bad sort of retirement, honestly. Okay, that's enough. If you're done asking questions, I'm sure there's something I should be keeping an eye on. I have to go now. Yeah, see you. Robot Repair Center. I'll go there. Everything must go. Sail, 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 sail. Mechanist Forge. Oh. Grenade! Grenade. The gun's not firing. Oh! Jeez. Energy cell, flame or fuel. Ooh, sentry bot. Ha. 
have this. There it is. Repair Sector Terminal. Note from management regarding Sector B. Memo. Attention, warehouse slash repair employees. Please make sure the main platform in the repair sector is properly raised before releasing the repaired bots from their pods. All units receive firmware programming to make their way to the main entrance and await pickup. Let's get them there safely and not repeat last week's accident involving a Protectron falling to the lower level. That error costs us time, money, and was an embarrassment to the company that and our DCTA account client management. Okay. Carton of Secrets. Repair sector terminal. Operate lift. Raise platform. Unable to locate platform. Over platform. Oh, okay. What have you got on your mind? No, 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 no. I wanted to activate the switch. Here they come. Our move along. Oh. Energy cells. Five millimeter rounds. Missile. Energy cell. Cell. Move along, please. Okay. They still work. Oh, you! Yeah! Oh! Sentry bots. Oh. Sector A emergency terminal. Shut down turrets in Sector A. There. Note for management regarding Sector B, same thing. Six invalid decryption key. Six K G G G L seven D D D two K Q P. Okay. Safe. Oh, sector A encryption key. Here we go. Activate emergency pulse explosion. Okay, I'm gonna save before I do that because I have no clue what that's gonna do. Oh, it's going to blow up the facility. Okay, no, just do that. Okay. No energy source available. Okay. Well, that did that then, I guess. Aid box, stem pack, empty toolbox, sector A terminal.
regret it. Okay, same thing. Sector A turrets. But I already disabled those. Energy cells. Energy cells. Energy cells. Fusion cells. Energy cells. Fox is just doing an exercise. Doing some exercise while waiting for me to come back up. Oh. Oh, force lock? 100%. Okay. Energy cell, electron charge pack. Energy cell, stealth boy. Two caliber rounds. D empty. 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 Desk terminal. Nope from Frank. I can't take it anymore, Bob. I don't trust these those turrets in Sector A. I swear I saw one track me the other day when I left work a little late. If that thing opens up on me, I'm screwed since the bastard feds Suspended workman's comp as part of the war effort. Hell. Snake helped me smuggle some pulse grenades in some pulse grenades that I locked away in the box under my desk. I tried one out on our handy at the house and the missus nearly killed me. Knocks him out like a light. If you ever need one, just grab the key from behind my terminal and use it to unlock the box. You can't say I never did anything for you. See you around, buddy. Oh, and stop throwing those staples over at me. They get on the floor and you know how I like to take my shoes off during the day. Behind the terminal. Okay. 308 caliber round. The nuclear bullets. This is the at yeah, the entrance. So now this way. Elevator to Mechanist Forge. What are you doing in here? How did you get past my defenses? Did the antagonizer send you? Speak now, citizen. 
or I'll be forced to detain you until I can ascertain your true motives. I'm just here to talk. We can find a peaceful way to stop this fighting. I realize you mean well, but I'm afraid you're being naive. The antagonizer is a madwoman, and the only thing that will stop her is force. As much as I wish peace were an option, the antagonizer is too deluded, too inhuman to listen to reason. Sadly, sometimes the scaly claw of tyranny must be destroyed by the cold, unfeeling pincers of justice. Speech 100. The fighting is causing more trouble for the town than the antagonizer ever did. Is... is that true? Have I really become a bigger problem for the town than her? Am I really the villain here? Does this mean I should stop myself? I... I guess I could just give up my suit and stop being the mechanist. But I couldn't face the town after causing that much trouble. Here, please, take the suit. I don't want to think about it anymore. Oh. Mechanist costume. 12 damage resistance. Charisma minus 1. Endurance plus 1. And the mechanist helmet damage resistance 4. I'm over encumbered. You have something to say? Let's trade equipment. Yes, by all means. How much does it weigh? Oh, 15? 5. Okay. I want to here take the helmet, this sexy sleepwear, and spacesuit. Let's go. And I shall follow. Perfusion cells. Uh I'm concerned about this area. No sugar bombs in there. Out I go. To the antagonizer's lair. Time to try to convince the ant agonizer. To not attack the town. Oh, here it is. Oh, there they are. 
My spies tell me that meddling mechanist has been removed from the picture. I only wish I had that tin man's shell to gloat over. Bring me the suit of the mechanist, and then we can talk. Oh? You don't have the mechanist suit. Don't waste my time until you've brought me that prize. Something troubling you, my friend? I don't want to give it up. Let's trade yes. equipment. By all means, let's. Let's go. I'm gonna save before I do that. At last, you've pried the shell off that meaty little mechanist. Give it to me! Why do you want the suit? Isn't it only fitting to gloat over the corpse of one's fallen foe? To revel in a victory over a larger and stronger opponent overcome? If I couldn't be there to personally strip the facade from the iron interloper, the least I am owed is a chance to gloat over his shell. Wait, first let's talk about what you've been doing. You would dare to tell the antagonizer to wait? No human commands the Ant Queen. But as you have defeated my nemesis, I will allow you to talk. Quickly. Humanity's made mistakes, but there's still a chance for us. Perhaps. But I'll snuff those chances soon enough. Now, my royal guard, kill this commoner! Oh. Load. I don't want to kill them. At last. Talk about what you've been doing. He's made. But oh no! Wait, that's right. Load. Other option. At last. My apologies, Aunt Queen. Please continue. As I thought. Now give me the mechanist suit. Don't waste your time with this suit, it isn't worthy of your attention. You're right. Why bother with a trophy of one pitiful human, when I can go forth and make a trophy of the entire world? But when the time comes, remember, as a friend of the Ant Queen's court, you will know the mercy of a quick, painless death. Now leave me. I must prepare to leave the pitiful town of Canterbury and plan for greater conquests. I've lost karma. Please, just leave me alone. I want to leave all this behind me. Please, just leave me alone. Please, 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 just leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. I want to leave all this behind me. Okay, I don't think this is the way. Unless it is, and I just didn't see. Oh, okay. That's right, I can get out here you too. You are in the presence of Ant Royalty. Please, just leave me alone. I want to leave all this- Okay. I've lost karma for the game not giving me a chance to say anything. <laughs> Because if I choose either one, then it just like, I'd have to kill the antagonizer, and I don't want to kill the antagonizer, I just want to convince. But there's no option, so. I get, I get negative karma. Hi. How are you? 
With all of that fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all, of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? I'm all business. What types have you got to offer? Damn near all of them, depending on which caravans in town. Guns, armor, food, junk. Pretty much everyone swings by the old circle eventually. Everyone but slavers, that is. It's a hassle to transport their wares, as they say. Just as well, eh? Anything else I can do to welcome you to town? I took care of both of them. There won't be any more fighting in the streets. That's grand! I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little rendered. bonus as a special thank you. Hey, my name's not rendered, it's rendered. <laughs> it's actually Jerry, but, you know. Can you repair something for me? Eh, I'm, I think I'm good on repairs. I'll be on my way. Be back soon and bring more caps. Are you today? Bring more caps. Hey, just stumbled into town. You sure picked a fine day for it with the crazies out there. Here, have a drink on the house. Welcome to Canterbury. I'm Joe Porter. I make sure folks around here can get a meal when they need it. Thanks, Joe. Looks like a pretty nice place here. We do our best. Well, Dom and Roe do their best. I just make sure they've got enough food so they can keep on doing their best. You ever find yourself starving around here, drop by Dot's Diner. We don't charge much, but don't expect any more freebies. Can you tell me about Canterbury Commons? Best place I ever worked in. And I guess I've worked about everywhere there is. We get some weird types passing through, but it's stable enough for a guy to make an honest living. I don't really see what more men could ask for. Bring more caps. What's on the menu? Take a look. Let me know what you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm not able to sell the drone cannon here either, but you can have these frag mines and plasma mines and pulse mines. I don't think I'm really going to use those. Uh, yeah. Here, dirty water. I don't know when I picked that up, but I did, so. Jet. Stealth boy. Nope. Not enough for that to be sold. Mm. Here, I have... <laughs> Three med -X's? No. There. One, well, two med -X's. There you go. Four caps. That's it. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I have to go now. Careful out there. It's this place. Door to Ernest. Uncle Rose House. Oh, okay. Okay. Those doors, not... Okay. Restroom. Empty. Dockhoff's local inventory. Crow's local inventory. Okay, requires key. Microfusion cells. Aerith's local inventory. Joe Porter's safe requires key. Okay. 
careful! Oh. I guess that's not stealing from that. Or this. doors. Thought maybe I could because the boards were blocking, but I guess not. Garage door to Dominic in Machete's house. No sugar bombs, but Nuka-Cola's. How many do I have? Five. So if I get five more, it'll get converted to a quantum. I five, six rounds. Zero eight caliber rounds. Dart. Empty. Means electronics. Increase by two. HP thirty rads one. Or ramen. need to look so nervous, right? Staying out of trouble? Good, good. Need to get going. Bye. Pre-war spring outfit. And a hockey mask. It's not a dirty pre-war spring outfit. Oh, perfect. Looks really good. Just on vacation. There we go. What else do I have? Just this stuff. you got on your mind here you can take yes, this stuff back by all means let's let's go hey Save again. Oh. Empty. Hey. Machete. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Didn't mean to interrupt, I just wanted to say hi. Fine, hi. Whatever. I'm Machete, and I've got better things to do than talk with you. Scram. Perception. 
Did you get your nickname in Lamplight? Good guess. I was the toughest defender they ever saw in Lamplight. I earned my nickname fighting off a mole rat with a knife as big as my arm. When I left, I figured I'd pass on a cushy place like Big Town. I ended up here. Dom took me on as a guard. And that's that. What can you tell me about Canterbury Commons? This whole place would fall apart if it weren't for Dom and me keeping anyone from causing too much trouble. Fat old Roe may think he runs the place, but it's only because Dom lets the idiot. Okay, then. So then... Now I'll go to... I'll have my marker on point lookout, but... I'm gonna go back to... Megaton first. So I can... Get rid of all the stuff in my inventory. I also waited a couple days, so... I might be able to trade at the supply then. What? Hey, don't mind the smoke. <laughs> it's perfectly safe to breathe. <coughs> really? Let me see what you have for sale. Absolutely. Here we go. This doesn't weigh anything. So I don't... Think I'm gonna sell any of that stuff. Keep the Nuka-Colas, because I'll put them in the fridge. Here, take these stealth boys. Right away. Uh, yeah, I'll just sell one of those. Here, take these rad scorpion poison glands, and Do I have anything else? A carton of cigarettes. I think that'll be it for now. It's good hunting. I have to go now. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Shaking. Hey, man, what's going on? I have to go now. Catch you later. Billy Creel. Oh, there's an open door up there. I get up there? I think there's a way for me to climb the buildings, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, it looks like there might be something up there. I don't want to... I don't want to do... TCL just in case. Because if there's like a legitimate way to get up there, then I want to do it legitimately first. This is... Armor. Something. Something. Let's trade yes. equipment. By all means, let's take this stuff off you so I can put it in here. Let's 
go. Okay. You have something to say? Yes. By uh, all means, let's. Gatling laser is this? I think this is my Gatling laser, and then plasma pistol. I have one on me, but I'll take it, I guess, because I can repair. Let's go. Items, weapons. That's right, because it uses energy cells. There, I'll just repair mine. I replaced the laser pistol. <laughs> I have sixteen hundred power modules for this, but I don't even know if I can repair it with anything else, so just gonna put the alien stuff away. <laughs> the drone cannons can go in here. Because I don't think I'll be using those. Oh, they just use power modules as well? Shock ton can go in there because I have the man opener. This doesn't weigh anything, so I don't necessarily have to put it away. And that's right, just nuka colas and purified water. The crystals don't weigh anything. Drone control device can go in there. I mean, it's not necessarily a weapon, but it it gives the ability to have sort of a weapon. Oh, that's right, I have the toys. I can go back to the pit and give those to uh, the Bobby. Okay, exit. Put all this food in there. Whoa, adapted biogel. <laughs> HP plus 158. Yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff in here. Alien epoxy. Mm. Sure, I'll put it in the fridge. All the Nuka Colas. Purified waters. At the one agility bobblehead. Okay, save time. Now, I think I already have the place discovered, so I can, yep, just fast travel. What the heck was that noise? Mirelurk just like explode or something. Can trade with this person on the riverboat. I, I think I Welcome already got Duchess that quest. Cabinet. Okay, yeah. Please find my daughter. Yeah, I did get the the note. <laughs> Tell me more about Point Lookout. 
Down south, this side of the bay, there's a soggy strand of beach called Point Lookout. Oh, it's got it all! Ruins of ancient pleasure towns, mysterious swamps bristling with treasure, and all practically untouched by outsiders. But if you're curious, I could offer you a ride over to that faraway land. For a nominal fee, of course. And sorry, but I don't do group trips. If you want to see Point Lookout, you'll have to leave your friend here. Okay. I'm here to buy. Let's see what you got to trade. So I can sell stuff here. Rad's minus one. Oh yeah, that's right, the the wild punga fruit. Oh wait, the pit, that's right, for the toys. I have to go now. So then I can just go pick up the Myrler Myrler meat and sell it to them. Yep. Yep. And yep, yep. Okay. I need your help. Happy to oblige! Here you go, take that, and that. So now I get some more money back for that. Um, oh, let me buy all your stim packs real quick. So now I'm up to 106 again. I have to go now. And now actually gonna go where is the pit I don't really remember train tunnel I think this is it oh yep door to pit tunnel Here we go, time to pass out on the cart again. Okay, Fox has returned to the Museum of History. That's fine because that's what would happen anyway when I go on the riverboat, so. Pit, Hilliard, even, here we go. And I'll give the toys. Saint. Here we go. I guess I've got a moment since Marie's asleep. What's on your mind? <laughs> Teddy bear delivery for Marie. Here you go. Thanks. And Marie says thanks too. How's Marie? My little angel is just the healthiest baby in the world. <laughs> she just couldn't be doing better. Wish I could say the same about the research for a cure, but that can't be rushed now, can it? Honestly, it'd help us all if she got some new toys to play with. The happier she is, the easier it is for me to do research. I have to go now. Stop by any time. It's always a pleasure. Toy delivery done. You got brains, but you're no Asher. Uh. 
now time to go to Uptown because there's actually someone to buy and sell from here. So you ain't so good on. Don't remember where they are though. Damn friendly for your own good. Looking good, newbie. Looking good, newbie. <laughs> Get out of my. Back again? How you feeling? Oh, there. Now I can actually talk. I'm fine, Phantom. Okay. Watch yourself out there. <laughs> Trader over here. No. If it isn't quick draw. Oh, down here, maybe? No? I don't know where they are. Not in there. Broke both of my legs. I'll just accept it because Good newbie. Scram! Scram! I thought you were the person to trade with. But I guess not. Do a save here. Because I didn't save a picture. Like, I don't have a save with a picture of the building, so... Why not? Damn. Glad you're on our side, meathead. Are you the traitor? Hey! Not interested. Scram! Looking good, newbie! Hey there! Not interested. Okay, I guess not. Auto axe. Wait a second. I don't think I've been down this way. Oh yeah, no. I have not. At least not down the stairs. I guess. But have been down here before. I think. No clue where the person to trade with here is, but I guess I'll just go back. Trying 
travel to the capital wasteland. Oh, Raven Rock, I can go back there still. Cell, plasma vine, and stim pack. Standing down, retreating, the commencing attack. Oh, my confusion cell. Does this actually work to pair this? Okay, no. I was saying if any power armor would. Repair it. I mean, it's it's still not dropped in condition, so. I just wanted to see if it was possible. My confusion cell. Sentry bot. Okay then. No more, please. I guess I'll just go... Oh, that's right, I can just trade with the riverboat person. Nope. Oh, mouse went off screen, there we go. I need your help! Here to buy. Let's see what you got to trade! Oh. Here, take one of these, I'm gonna keep the other. I'll buy two because I need one for the way back, I believe, right? Oh. I'll buy it, and then I'll just... I'm gonna go retrieve my flamer from the Citadel. One more level and I'll be max level. I think I'm going to max out repair. Or maybe not, actually. Welcome. Eh. You know what? Yeah, no, I, I will, I think. Because if I max out repair, then... At least weapons I can find around, I can fully repair. They do full damage. Be more careful. 
Now I gotta look for the Brotherhood. Oh, member. Here we go. And so you return. Star Paladin Cross. It's good to see you, Hale. How may I help you, my friend? I would like your assistance again, Paladin Cross. And it is my duty to offer it, as I have sworn. I shall follow and protect you. Did you need something? Let's trade equipment. In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Flamer, fat man, minigun, missile launcher. Yeah. This stuff I don't really care that much about, but the fat man and the uh, flamer. Yes. Oh, if I had the fat man. Well, I mean, you know what? The Tesla cannon still, like, can one-shot things, some things. But the Fat Man, I feel, is, like, almost guaranteed that it will kill whatever it's being shot at. I mean, the Missile Launcher does more than the Tesla cannon, but I think it also breaks faster than the Tesla cannon. And it also weighs more than double. So, you know what? Let's go. And now I'll go to the armory and sell this stuff. Sell some of it at least anyway. That's right, you use melee anyway, so... I can literally just sell everything. Quartermaster here. What do you need? Can I see what you have to trade? Sure. Just be quick about it. Ooh. Okay, I might not be able to sell everything. Because of the caps. Yeah, no. But you know what? Give me all your stim packs. So then I can actually sell more stuff. And that's pretty much, pretty much it. 20 caps. Let me see what you have that I can buy though. Anything I do not have already. I don't think so. Any misc stuff I have that weighs anything? Here, um, nope, not even. Can't take the plasma mine. Well, exit. Another satisfied customer. I have to go now. Steel be with you. Where did they? Oh, there they are. Good to see you. Let's trade equipment. In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. You know what? Let's go. Repair the Chinese assault rifle. And. What do you need? Actually, I'll just go back to Megaton again for a second run. Oh, power armor. More Aquapira. Need something, friend? Oh, in the. My compass indicator is broken, so... Hello? You know what? Wait till... 8 a.m. Thirty 
4 a.m. Actually. And maybe I can actually just sell this stuff here. Vigilance is necessary in the. <laughs> hey, don't mind the. Can we see what you have sure for sale. All right, full. Oh, 17 cap. But do you have. Yep, you have stim packs again. So here. Just take that. 51. Here, you can take this plasma mine, six caps, and now I don't Good have hunting. anything to sell to you. Come back soon! Now, back to the house. Ninety-nine. Oh, the Gatling laser can go in there because that just uses, um, I think, the same as the uh, Tesla cannon. Yep. Hey. The scope forty-four Magnum can go in there, I guess. I think I have two, yep. But there's not anyone to sell it to right now, so it can go in there. How much does the silenced 10mm pistol? That, okay, pistol. It weighs 30. Or not 30, 3. It weighs 3. So, you know what? I'll actually keep that over the 10mm submachine gun. So then I have a silenced weapon. But eh, that's 31. So actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna phase that out entirely. Because this does 46. So, yeah, no. I'm good. Fat man. It weighs 30. But it does also do damage. Yeah, but the Tesla cannon. The only thing is, I just risk using more stim packs, but I have a hundred and something of them again, so I don't think I'm as concerned. But missile launcher. I have 63 missiles now for this. But again, weighs 20. I don't know if I should hold on to it when I have the Tesla cannon that does almost as much. And doesn't get uh, condition lowered, I don't think, as fast, so yeah, put that away. Minigun. I do have like 18, 1860 5mm uh, bullets, but it does 60. And comparatively to what else? I have 40. And opener. Flamer does 99. This does 46. Well, it still does do more damage. I think it also drops in condition faster, so put that away. 133. And I do have Aquapira, so I can throw that in the fridge. That's Jet. And Nuka-Cola can go in there. Yeah, 
I have 121 stim packs there. I'm down to 130 carry weight. So now, now I think I'm at the lowest I've been in a while. Save here. And to the riverboat landing. And my mouse just went off screen, so game did not crash this time yet. I need your help. And I already took the stuff from this before. Okay, that's right, I just have to rest and it'll... The Duchess Gambit is ready to begin its trip to Point Lookout. I'm not ready to leave yet. Travel to Point Lookout. Nope, travel to Point Lookout. Let's go. Star Paladin Cross has returned to the Citadel. Okay. This is just making me think of Left 4 Dead. Like the opening sequences. And the music too. You've discovered Point Lookout Pier. Okay. Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Should I be worried what's over there? Oh, nothing much. Just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. You know, nothing much. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Any place you recommend in Point Lookout? Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient? and I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fella named Plick who runs a club out in the Northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. I have to go now. Good travels to you. Okay. Oh. I'm here now. Investigate the mansion. Okay. Over there. Oh, um, that's right, I have everything on the map unlocked, so now I can see where everything is. Pilgrim's Landing. I'm gonna quit to restart the game so my compass actually starts working and I can actually see where where the uh, quest marker is Load. Point lookout. Yes. Okay.
ready for adventure with my Tesla cannon and winterized B-51 power armor. Scrapper. Oh, double barrel shotgun. Moonshine. Shotgun shells. Vodka. You scared boy! No. Here, I'll use the weapon of the land. Maybe I can find more and repair it. You know, yeah, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to keep it in decent condition so that I can get more and repair it. And then when I bring it back, it'll be repaired. You know what? Flamer. I'll use the flamer because I have like 2,000 ammunition for it. Brawler. FedEx and more moonshine. Jeez. I don't want to light the dogs on fire. Oh. Gary is unconscious. Ricky is unconscious. You need to help me if you want to stay alive. Desmond. They've been at it all night. I think they are just about to breach the inner walls. Follow me. I'm going to go check it out. Flamer. Repair mine. 106 damage. I'm gonna take this ammo first. Take all these munitions. Minus the guns. Some of them. Because I already sold. Assault rifle. Ooh. Workman's coveralls. Repair. Take that. A fishing pole? I want to go fishing. Oh no. Uh oh. Look, here it is. One of these chat messages. It's been a while. I know what to do though. I'll just go and change a setting real quick. the heck? Moderation nuke. <laughs> there we go. Blacklisted phrases. Phrase. <laughs> there we go. There, now I can close that. Go to task manager because 
the browser doesn't actually close unless I end it in Task Manager. What? Nope. Oh, there it goes. Hey, over here. You found Looks like they're coming in. Purified water, blood pack, rat away, step packs. Somewhere upstairs. Two, two caliber rounds. Ooh, tribal garb. Follow me. I'll just get this out. Go through these doors and up the stairs. Find where they are coming in and stop them. I'll be keeping an eye on the cameras down here. Hurry. Okay. rounds, shotgun shells, more tribal garb. I'll pair the other one with this. Wait, five. <laughs> Damage resistance is ten on that. Uh, I'll take it, see if I can repair. Yes I can. I think that might be maximum repair that I can do. Another double barrel shotgun. Pair mine with this one. Which is basically all the way broken anyway. I'll use it. I'll give myself some more health. There we go. Open door requires key. Well, up I go then. You stop! Sleep forever! I missed. Sleep forever. Hey now. No, no. Okay. This doesn't do as much damage as I expected it to. Here, we'll fight. There goes the weapon. That doesn't do as much damage as I expected it to. Uh, oh, this might be another Tesla cannon situation. How about the Chinese assault rifle? Missile. Don't have the missile launcher. Three new Coca Colas. Five millimeter rounds. Or five, five, six. Ooh. Oh, accidentally took a rat away. That's fine. You will feed the punga. I'll feed the punga. I don't think so, pal. Combat knife. And tribal garb. Uh, 
damage 15. Just an axe. No, I'll take it. And I'll repair it once I find another one. Peter? Oh, lever action rifle. Okay. I'll take it. And I'll try it. Seal that hole from the attic. If you don't have any grenades, then see if there's something nearby you can shoot that will explode. This. Oh, yeah. Hey, over here. Good job blocking off that hole. Hurry and get in here. Looks like they're about to breach from the east wing. Okay. From the east wing. Oh. Ooh. X. Oh, you have a lever action rifle. Oh, I thought you did. It's a hunting rifle. Don't stop shooting. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm down here now. goes. You, will feed you know what? Tesla yes. cannon time. Oh. Sleep forever. You sleep forever. No, no. No feed, Punga. Take that. That. Repair time. To the east wing I go. I fell feed again. The punga. Feed the punga. 
Right, I got some blood packs now, so I can just just use those right away. You will oh. The oh. You. oh, they came down here. You will oh. the punga. Ah. Ah. Sleep forever. Maximum axe. Impure. Ah! No more. You ah! will feed the punga. No. I will not feed the punga. Thirty two caliber rounds, double barrel shotgun, shotgun shells. Nope. Shotgun shells. There it is, as far as I can repair it. See how much damage it actually does. That's where I fell. I'll try not to do that again. Cigarettes, Coca Cola. Hey, okay. Oh, there we go. It's okay. Not as much damage as I'd like to be doing. the max it'll do. 80 maybe. Return to the dust. No. Time to pew pew that. Do this. That's one last way for them to get in. Follow me. I think we're about to get hit hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here they come. Grab all the ammo and stim packs you need. This is gonna be a rough one. Workman's coveralls, there we go. Prepare them some more. If you have any mines, now's the time to use them. They could come in through any of the boarded up doors at any second. Confederate hat, I'll take it. Rag mines. Any of the boarded up doors. Okay.
Here they come. Second floor on the right. Oh, I didn't realize up there. Oh, here they come. Oh, they ran right into that. To the dog. Okay. More of them on the right, first floor. Oh, that blew up the mine anyway. They break it anyway, don't they? No. That mine actually lived. Oh, that works. Front door now. Ooh. Sorry, doggy. Oh, one left. Oh, don't worry, the dogs will get him. Yeah. I didn't want to shoot at him again. So, my hero, think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time. Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the fail safe. But that would have done a real number on some of the paintings, so just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. What kind of failsafe are you talking about? The type that kills everyone outside of my safe room and leaves a hell of a mess to clean up. Standard type. Not worth wasting on ignorant savages like them, honestly. Just as well you came along when you did. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand. Superior... Okay, the superior defender perk has been added. You now do more damage and have better defense when standing still. Oh, okay. Do you know why the tribals were attacking? Not a fucking clue. It'd be easy to chalk it up to their crazy religion. But if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. That's the third attack in a month, so somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. Why would they want to attack the mansion? Damned if I know. It was abandoned when I got here. There's plenty hidden away here. None of it would be useful to a bunch of crazed inbreds. Have you seen a woman named Nadine? I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. What do you know about the tribals? They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit What's to know? Tell me more about Point Lookout. I'm here on my own business. You wouldn't understand it even if I tried to explain it to you. I don't know why anyone would bother with this shithole. It's filled with a bunch of disgusting inbreds and half-crazed loons. I'm gonna do what I came to do, and then get the fuck out of here. I have to go now. Now hold on there. Not so fucking fast. You can be useful to me. I need someone willing to get their hands dirty. So here's the deal. I help you get in with those tribals. You help me get what I want, and I'll make you fucking rich. Just try not to sprain a lobe while you're thinking about it. My time is short.
What do you want me to do about the tribals? You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. Those mud lovers want me dead and haven't extended the common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So, I need you to find a way into their commune and figure out what's going through their ad little heads. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. Okay, but how can I infiltrate them? Easy peasy. Right about now, they'll be wondering what happened to their hunting party. You really think they'll just let me in like that? These are people who think cutting a hole in their skull can expand their mind. They're not exactly scholars over there. Just head up to the cathedral and ask real nice. When you're in, you'll find the bastard in charge and find out what they're up to. I just need information. No need for violence. Yet. What's your story? My story? Tell you what, kid. My story's a lot like a death claw's tongue. It's long, messy, and you don't want to get too personal with it. Understand? Suffice it to say, I have business in Point Lookout. If you help, you will be repaid for your efforts. That's all you want to fucking know. What do you know about the tribals? <laughs> They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. Mm. What's to know? Same, same dialogue, okay. I have to go now. Back to business. Five millimeter rounds. Oh. Okay. Beta. The arc and the... Cathedral. Oh, straight forwards. Swamp lurk. Oh, and there goes the game. Like it could be a spicy save, but I guess it's okay. Okay enough to let me load it, so. Got him. A tracker. Human flesh. 
FedEx beer and an axe. Firework meat. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna take it. Actually. How much radiation is in this water? One rad per second, three if I take a drink. They do have projectile. They have a ranged attack. Oh, Myler Hunter. Got him. And now up I go. Hey, yep, as long as it's gonna let me actually jump all the way up this. It kind of looks like it. Hey, yep. Dave here. say like wear a disguise or anything and it wasn't said before so I don't think I need a disguise though I do have tribal garb so I could wear one who goes there who lingers at the threshold of transcendence <laughs> I seek the wisdom of your people may I join your tribe what's this a humble traveler, seeking the guidance of our awakened minds. Truly, this is a glorious day. You are from far away, and must be strong indeed to have traveled this far. But strength is nothing without the guidance of the enlightened mind. If you seek entry, you must be prepared to expand your consciousness. You must prove yourself worthy to transcend. I have no fear. I will take your test and I will be victorious. You may not be so brave when you face the ritual of the Mother Seed. Stronger souls than you have attempted it and lost their minds. Venture west to the Great Bog, and within you shall find the Mother of all Punga Fruit. She stands taller than a man, and her vines guide our future. Collect her seeds and kneel before her wisdom. Only then will you be ready to enter these sacred halls. Okay. Collect seeds from the giant punga plant. Mm. Oh no, not more ghoul possible ghoul glitchers. Can't have those. Buff out. That's right, I could have traded that for fungus at the uh, little lamplight cavern. Run directly in my direction, yes. Oh.
That works. Another double barreled shotgun. Mine is already repaired as far as I can get it. 83 damage. Another Confederate hat. Another pre war park stroller outfit. I'm good. Shotgun shells. And yeast. There. Repair one of them with the other. Creeper. I just kill? Oh, that might have been what I... I might have killed something next to them. Which is why I got like the 1 XP. Moonshine. This just reminds me of Stalker like this area of the uh, of Point Lookout. House? Oh. I missed. But they didn't notice, so. Sneak attack. Flooded sinkhole. I thought I was going to be getting radiation for the entire time. Up until I get the punga fruit. Boat fly. Got it. Another boat fly. Got it. Another bloat fly? I'm gonna save my condition and ammo. I'll just 
best use the plasma pistol, actually. Because I have not yet. Sacred Bog Entrance. Blood Pack, Purified Water, and Stim Packs. Oh, Wild Punga Fruit added. Rads minus one, HP plus ten. Okay. I'll see what's down here. Still wild punga. Just said wild. Did not say wild punga fruit. It just said punga fruit plant. <gasps> nope. <gasps> Almost level 30. Almost max level. Place is great. Yeah. Got a nice atmosphere here. No, please, I just want to be. I just wanted to visit your home. Oh. Yeah, again. Other weapons and didn't seem to be doing damage, so... Reverting back to, uh, Tesla Cannon. As, as usual. 
Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Oh, okay. There. Almost level 30, how much more XP? Ooh, less than 500 XP, actually. And this can multi-hit too, as long as they're close enough together. One more on one of them. Oh, and they walked right into the orb. How to avoid radiation, just jump. Oh, there it is. Hunger seed added. Hunger seeds added, rather. Oh. Wakey wakey. Now what? Is that it? Found a Skamolt. Wait, what? Schmolt Tech? A Schmolt Tech limited edition bobblehead. You're now under the violence of Mighty Punga. Okay. The inscription on the base reads Tisk Tisk walked right into another trap. Exactly how stupid are you? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. You found a Schmaltech limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, This is one situation you're not going to be able to fight your way out of. Okay. See about that. No. Found a Schmaltech limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Keep it up, you're almost there. Wherever there may be, probably nowhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Yep. Keep on going. Is that a Nuka Cola Quantum? Nice. Then there goes the game. <laughs> I'm under the... I'm under the violence of the mighty Fallout 3 crash. Snaparoo. How far back am I now is the question. 
hopefully not before actually starting the journey in there. Auto, oh nope, sacred bog. No. Okay, I'm basically back at the beginning. I think. Oh no, I'm right here. This isn't... I would say this isn't too bad. Not too bad, but after... After I get to the... Hunga. I'm gonna save. One more. This isn't like the mothership Zeta, so it's it's not that bad. Like the enemies are actually able to be one shot. Some of them, anyway. Some take two. But that's... that's n normal, I would say. Oh. Frag grenades and brass knuckles. Impact. You know, I'll save right now, actually. Yeah, this isn't too bad. And because the difficulty of the area isn't... Uh, beyond what, what I have with me... Then, uh... Oh! Jeez. I injured myself a little bit there. No, I didn't want to eat that, but I did. So, whatever. That's okay. And at least it's not like multiple oh. corridors where I just kind of guess where to go. It's just kind of walk to the next place. Like, more straightforward it feels. Oh, okay, and there goes the game again. Uh, try again. I don't know, I just think the game, the game's saying, hey, gotta finish it next time, can't do it now. Not allowed. Can't end can't end the streams here. Cause I was gonna try to finish all the the DLCs. Try to finish finish the well two that were left that I know oh. of. I know this is your place of residence, but I'm sorry. You're you're automatically hostile or else I would not shoot at you. No more. Here I actually have... I feel like I actually have time to aim at things. Before I get, like, down to less than half health. Frag grenade. Oh, save now. 
because I think I'm further. Oh. Ouch. Got me too. Oh. Uh oh, I might kill myself with this. Don't want to do that. Accidentally ate one. Again. Because my stim packs are usually at the bottom. Double kill. Save again. Because I feel like this area might cause me another crash. So clunky, bro. So clunky. Walked right into it. Yep. Save again. Oops, accidentally made another save. Well, whatever. Okay. I'll save here. And whoop. pick these all up again, because I already have read them. At least these two. Won't be able to fight this your way out of this situation. I don't know, I might be able to. What the heck is that? Looks like a guitar. Or like a cello. Here, I'll save over this one. Now I got a picture of the punga. The inscription reads, keep it up, you're almost there. Wherever there may be, probably nowhere. Oh yeah, that again. Time for those to explode. Oh yeah, sick. He found a Schmaltech limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Isn't it funny how everything you get close to ends up leaving? Yeah, it's great. Bye. Why isn't... Why isn't the game just like this normally? You know, minus the motion blur, like the the gun sway, weapon sway, whatever. Oh, bridge. Oh, found a small tech limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, "This doesn't look right. Not right at all." Perception. I don't know. This is right.
the land is being sewn back together. Oh. Mom. They found a small tickle in addition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Black. If my kid looked like that, I'd abandon it too. Oh. Amada. Elder Lions. Moira Brown. Found a Schmalt Tech Limited Edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads Dead Mother, Life in Post Nuclear Wasteland, and Not a Friend in it. Yeah, you aren't exactly blessed. Okay. Congratulations, my boy. You're going to pull through, and everything will be right as rain. No, no, don't, don't try and get up yet. You'll only hurt yourself. Oh. Ponga seeds removed. Oh. No more. Value of four. No more them out here, so. Oh. Bruiser. Okay, they take more hits. Trapper Shack. Oh. Double railed shotgun. Can I repair this further? No. Drop. I heard the trap go off. Moonshine. Jet. Wild Punga Fruit. Stealth Boy. Bottle Caps. Bear Trap. Another double barreled shotgun. I didn't want to take that. I'm out of here. Oh. Yeah.
the strength bobblehead lied. I did fight my way out. Shot everything that was going to attack me. Shotgun shell. 10 millimeter rounds. 308 caliber rounds. 44 magnum rounds. And here we go. Back to the gate. You are welcome to our tribe. Truly the Mother Panga has bestowed her wisdom upon you, and your mind has been expanded. Did it work? Is the ritual complete? For a time. We feared your mind had journeyed too far from your body, and you had departed our world. But you returned to us again at long last. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcomed in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened brother. The Punga Power perk has been added. You now receive better effects from eating Punga fruit. Okay. What does this tribe believe in? We espouse the expansion of the perfect mind, and the rejection of the corrupt physical. The material world is destroyed and imperfect. We seek to release our minds from their tainted cages, so as to find a better world. Who leads this tribe? Leader? That would be Jackson, a man of great wisdom. He has withdrawn to his cavern of communion, the better to contemplate the unknowable. Only the righteous are trusted to know where this nexus of understanding lies. And alas, I am not so blessed. Why did you attack the mansion? Our most enlightened one divined that the fates themselves did decree the mansion must be burnt to the ground. How do you get so much punga fruit to grow here? It is a gift from the earth itself, in acknowledgement of our perfect balance with nature and the higher planes. She recognizes that we seek to leave behind the corrupt physical, and she nurtures us in our quest. Where can I find Jackson? Alas, only the worthy may enter his nexus of meditation. He has not seen fit to enlighten me. I have to go now. Blessings to you on your journey. Oh, okay. Final level up. Cool repair. And... It's big guns. This doesn't say to the... Um, Tesla cannon. Laser pistol, laser rifle, plasma rifle, and plasma pistol. I would think laser cannon, or Tesla cannon, but I don't know. Do it though. Because that's what I use otherwise. Nuclear anomaly. With the nuclear anomaly perk, whenever your health is reduced to 20 or less, you will erupt into a devastating nuclear explosion. Note that any allies in the vicinity will also suffer the effects of the blast. Oh, I don't want to do that. There it is. Almost perfect perk. 
And all special stats are instantly raised to 9. If nothing else, that'll be the one to choose. Yeah, I'll take intense training right now. But I can already get the almost perfect. I'll do that. Now I have max level. Refined punga fruit added. Rad's minus 15 plus 15 health. 5 and plus 10. Go past the flesh. Go past the flesh. Be at peace. Go past the flesh. Okay. Oh, Nadine. Looks like another newbie in the tribe, and still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? What do you mean, lucky? You still remember your name? Math? How's your memory? When I came back, there were bits in my memory where all I could recall was a white light and a jumble of voices. Crazy, huh? But you're not drooling, so you're doing okay. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. Heads cut up? What are you... Heads cut open? What are you talking about? You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. Nadine, your mother asked me to find you. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just, I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark, to be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually, just not quite yet. Why did you attack the mansion? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was all Jackson's crazy idea. I knew better than to volunteer for that suicide mission. Last time I wandered too close to that mansion, some old ghoul sicked his dogs on me. Screw that. Tell me about yourself. What is this, a date? You start making a move and it's stabbing time. No, really, tell me about yourself. What? There's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Tell me about yourself. Well, there's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Can you rid me of my scar? You're a lucky one. And it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now hold still, and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. Scar removed. Okay. Who, who cut up on my head? It's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. 
I'm going to go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. Who leads this tribe? I guess you mean Jackson. He speaks the word of enlightenment at us, but he ain't fit to lead a song, much less this bunch of morons. I've been meaning to talk to him about this place, but he's off doing his meditation thing. Where can I find Jackson? Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much. I thought joining would be all drugs and magic, but it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. Doesn't sound like you're having much fun here. I've only been here a week or so, but I'm about ready to ditch this bunch of dummies. I already stole all the punga I could ever need. Hey, if you still want to know where Jackson's hiding, I can help you out. No reason for me to give a damn about this place, you know? His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. Oh. I have to go now. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Let's move. Escape to the mine. You infiltrated those tribals yet? I'm in. I found out where their leader is hiding. And you didn't go track him down and grill him for information. I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. I have to go now. Back to business. the wrecked ship I go. With, oh, with the Tesla cannon out. No, not some more ghoul glitchers. It's not confirmed yet if they're ghoul glitchers or not, but... Uh-oh. Critical strike. No, oh, I missed. Oh, they're giving me rats. Oh. No. Tree <laughs> Creatures killed, 800. I thought I've killed more.
but it might be the amount of times I reloaded the game. Sneak attack critical. Buff out, psycho, shotgun shells. Buff out, shotgun shells. Medic psycho. Made a new save, right? Okay, yeah. USS Ozymandias? Better hat, shotgun shells, carton of cigarettes, men's overalls. Coveralls, rather. There we go. Waiting to get attacked. I see the red. Oh, there they are. Swamp lurk. Critical strike. The right arm crippled.
Ooh. Hitting me from all the way over there. I think I can hit them from back here too. I don't know though. Just gonna go in here. Oh, as a heads up, I don't know if I'm gonna finish this right now. I may be leaving in a little bit, so. But, I'm gonna see if I can at least get this quest done. I don't know what else there is in Point Lookout, but this is, uh, this may be the last thing I do, depending on how long it takes. No longer shall its mystical powers be diminished. At last, yes! Desmond will die, and our long struggle will finally end the only way it could have, with me as the victor! Yes, and you will be able to spread your knowledge across the astral plane for all those wise enough to accept it. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton. Psychic domination! And that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device! No need to worry, enlightened one. We shall reconsecrate the mansion and remove the impurities disrupting your perfect guidance. Yes, fine. Go destroy the house and its impurities. Just stop that jammer and I'll be free of you, morons, once and for all. Yes. So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here? Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. Useful, what are you using the tribe for? At the moment they've been no use at all, but I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. What have you got against the ghoul? More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the only pressing matter at the moment is a device in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that and I can extend my reach so much further. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. What do you know about Desmond? Desmond! That bag of bones and bile will pay dearly for his trespasses. Were it not for his interference, I would still have a body. Still, its absence is only honed by brilliance, so perhaps I owe him my thanks. An appreciation I'll show in the form of a quick and messy death! <laughs> Did you tell the tribals to attack the mansion? Of course I did, but that moron thought it was one of his adult visions. The real goal was to destroy the ghoul's jamming device. Honestly, those fools aren't worth the meat they're made of. A minion that can't follow directions is no use at all. I have to go now. Yes, away with you! We shall... Yes, fellow seeker? Why did you attack the mansion? We take no pleasure in violence. Our goal was merely to remove the ghoul. His presence is an offense to the Transcendent Master's astral dominion. I cannot claim to understand the exact reasons that the mansion's resident caused such disruption, however. To understand fully, ask the Master. How do you lead the tribe? I know it may seem that I am a brave shepherd to my flock, but the truth is far more humble. I am nothing more than the largest fish in our school, as we swim through the astral seas, exploring, learning, and becoming one. But we are not swimming aimlessly. No, we have a beacon. The Shining Mind speaks to me in my meditations, and guides us always. Tell me about your tribe. We are a family of dreamers, a band of astral explorers and a church of the mind. In time, 
we will be free of the horrors of the base physical world. We will play amongst the pure thoughts of the universe. I have to go now. May you find your way. Okay. Ting, 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 ting. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. You know this guy? What's going on here? Galvet is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. So who is this brain thing anyway? Him. I should have known. My old rival, so close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. So now, what do you want me to... Oh, so now you want me to do something else, right? Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? Maybe you should watch your tone, old man. Uh, right, right, you hear me and we get it. You're goddamn right I am. Now let's get on with the work, shall we? What do you want me to do? So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find this squishy little worm and finish him off for good. So, how do we shut him down? If I know the professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? That big wheel down by the docks, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go! Okay. And I'm off.
The question is, are those friends? Over there, or are they different from... Oh no, friends. Oh. I'll be right back.
All right, I am back. But, uh, again, leaving soon, so I don't know how long for, and I don't know how long the stream is going to be going for, so I will continue for now. But, got to get to that Ferris wheel. Oh. Oh, okay. Up there. But I don't know how to get up there, so... Oh, well, that's not an openable door. It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. Oh How boy. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor and we will never have to worry about it again. No. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed up old limey. Cog wave jammer. Goodbye. You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Hey! No one betrays me! Do you understand? You will suffer for this! Oh. Oh! You would fool! Both pay! I have 600 health now? I didn't realize that on the level up. Ah, that's right, your AI pathing can't come this way. No more. No more. Ow! No more. And one more. And then no more. <laughs> no. Oh, one more shot, maybe? feed the punga. I will eat the punga, but I will not feed the punga. Nope. Ah! Oh. Okay, bye. You can keep firing from me back from back there. Sniff the punga and go to town. Yeah. Going to town. Oh, go ahead. Keep firing. Oh no, they're, they're coming. Bye. See you later. It was fun. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, bye. Quest completed. Thought control. Oh. Boom. Yeah. Use the failsafe, maybe? Oh, hey. There's the bunker hatch. Panic room. That bastard. That bastard. He killed my pups. Nearly killed me. For what? He doesn't have the body to fucking do it himself, so he tried to blow me up. Me? Well, this ends today. Desmond Lockhart will finally win out. I know where he is. He overplayed his hand this time. You and me are going to walk in there and end this. It's great to see you alive. I was worried. Well, aren't you a fucking softy? But Calvert is here. He's got a lab under the lighthouse, the little fuck. Right under my nose the whole time. I found it when he boosted his signal to try to get through the jamming. When he sent those tribals to kill my poor pups. He's down there, hiding behind robots and machines, sucking life. Pathetic. He dies now. Then let's go in there and do this. Now, that's more like it. Follow me. You're about to witness the end of an era. Okay. I'm taking these sugar bombs. That's all dirty water. Oop, Nuka Cola Quantum and Nuka Colas. Bobby pins. Okay. Let this go. Me and Desmond on an adventure to the White House to kill the brain. Okay, at the lighthouse. Wait for it to- yep, there we go. You have discovered Point Lookout Lighthouse. Wild Punka. Okay, I guess you know the way. Oh jeez, I really guess you know the way. There you go. Can't even keep up. Desmond's so fast. A runner. Oh. Mark V turrets? Uh, why are they not attacking right now? Robots. Bloody figures. I have to go now. These aren't attacking. Okay, open up. cells. Oh, this I can actually get into. Core research progress notes. 
By using the data that we collected from the researchers at General Atomics at the close of the Ro Robotron project, we've been able to fully mimic the brain suspension and isolation technique that makes the robobrains function. What's better, we've made some interesting advances. It turns out that by manipulating the composition of the bio med gel, we are able to produce a number of effects that were previously thought to be impossible. Seems that Dr. Stewart was right. Under the right conditions, a subject not only retains full, metal ca full mental capacity, but can project limited images and even thoughts to their minds when the correct conditions are introduced in the biomed suspension. Details on this composition can be found in Research Archive 51, Section B. This has profound implications for applications from battlefield technology to civilian criminal interrogation. Although one must wonder, in years of isolation in a biogel suspension would eventually introduce psychological abnormalities. This merits further study once the full breadth, breadth of the current research is explored. An oversight review already? Despite the early stage of our research, Dr. Stewart has informed us that the Senator, oh, that Senator Colbert is demanding a full report on our work immediately. It seems that he is sending his brother, a noted researcher in the field of cogn cognitive robotic of of, co of cognitive robotic, okay, to this very lab in order to participate in a study and assist us with the report. I have to say, I hesitate to show our work to anybody outside the lab. It's still very early and very unstable. It will be decades before we can before we can be sure that the cognitive broadcast technology is stable, let alone it ready for implementation. Perhaps Dr. Stewart can hold off the arrival of Professor Culvert for a few more months. At least that would give us some time to come to better conclusions. Okay. Just pack. Bobby pin. Energy cell. Okay. Oh. Again. <laughs> Moving. Take the ammo from those boxes? I guess not. Oh. Damn it. Crap. There you are. Allow me to introduce you. I'm dead. Dead. Still, please. It's hard to You won't bother anyone ever again. Security bypass terminal. Average. Crumbling. St. <laughs> Alban Medical Facility Security Terminal Options Override Security Lock. Thank you, have a pleasant day. Okay. to hit you Desmond. Sorry. But this is a... It's an AOE weapon. Uh, area of effect. It's everything. Anyone ever again. Oh. Desmond is almost dead. Aquarius, exact match. Override security lock. Stimpak, right away, bud. 
Oh, Fight pull it back. This place. Wait. Okay. You are dead. dead. Okay. Whew. Okay, Desmond has full health again. Why would I do that? He is my enemy, and you will be rewarded. What is it with you two anyway? This is a rivalry that has lasted for centuries. You cannot possibly understand with your tiny, meaty brain. Creatures of great power must collide. It is inevitable. Destroy Desmond. Help me to end this, and I will give you a reward beyond your imagination. You both give me a headache. I need to think about it. You must decide. Do it now. At last. There you are, you slippery bastard. At last. Let's end this. Here and now. Ah, yes, Mr. Lockhart. At last we meet face to jar. But I'm afraid at the end of this, it is you who will meet his end. No, Galbert. I brought someone with me. Someone very special. This stranger tricked you into letting me find where you are hiding. Yes, Desmond, but whose side is he on? Do you know? Can you be sure? You always were so bad at choosing your allies. Well, we shall see, shan't we? Destroy him! No, no! Destroy him! Always so full of talk, Galvet. You disembodied, pathetic cerebellum. Your words mean nothing to me, Mr. Lockhart. You are a foolish and vulgar man, incapable of the slightest forethought. Well, I certainly can do one thing that you can't. I can fucking well walk. Ah, you make me laugh. So proud, so foolish, yet you are all talk. Attack me if you wish to be done with this. I'll have none of your posturing. You disembodied, pathetic cerebellum. So vulgar, oh. Mr. Lockhart. And you, always with empty fucking threats and meaningless drivel, but never the will to act. Man, you make me laugh. So proud, so foolish, yet you are all talk. Attack me if you wish to be done with this. This never fucking ends. You and your pathetic threats. You disgusting, greasy, uncranium bastard. Your words mean nothing to me, Mr. <laughs> Does this go on forever? Well, I certainly can do one thing that you can't. I can fucking well walk. Can't break him. Just I can actually just leave if I want to. Requires a key. I'm sorry, sir, but you forced me to utilize. Please don't take this the wrong way. I'll spin with you. Look, we'll do a dance. Oh, there we go. You can break them, and they give CP, XP. Oh, yeah, I, I'm already max level now, so... Anywhere... anywhere for me to go? I mean, I can literally just leave, right? Like, I don't even have to do this right now. East. You disgusting, greasy, uncranium bastard. Oh, now I'm down here. Disgusting. 
disgusting, greasy, and crazy <laughs> bastard. Okay. Your words mean nothing to me, Mr. Lockhart. You are a foolish and vulgar man, incapable of the slightest forethought. And you, always with empty fucking threats. Make your choice! The meaning. Make your choice! Let's drivel, but. Decide! Decide! No. Decide! Never the will. No. Bye. Oh, requires key, so I do have to do it regardless. This never fucking ends. You. This never fucking ends. You and your pathetic threats. You disembodied pathetic cerebellum. So vulgar, Mr. Lockhart. After all this time, you still haven't learned to expand your vocabulary. <laughs> and you, always with empty fucking... In threats and meaningless drivel, but never the will to act. You know nothing. You are nothing. If you're such a man of will, attack me. <laughs> There you are. Poor brain. Yeah, I didn't know I didn't know which one to choose, so <laughs> I just chose both. <laughs> Oh, there it is. The microwave emitter. Electron charge pack. And electron charge pack. Flamer fuel. Energy cell. Electron charge pack. Flamer fuel. Another energy cell. Out of the point lookout. Okay. You did the best choice, I think. <laughs> Ow. Where am I getting shot from? Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. They're teabagging. Stop oh. doing that. I'm not dead yet. Going over there. Can't see me in the water. Oh. Maybe you can. So we're rolling. Look at that. I recommend exploring this map to the full, every marker. I mean, I'm, I might, I don't know. Are there more quests here, or... Just like... Stuff to find. Quests. Oh. 
save. Uh, <laughs> save here. Hey, just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. Wait, Tobar did it? Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sorta. How do I know you're telling the truth? It <laughs> sounds pretty wacko, right? Well, I wouldn't have believed me either until I snuck a peek in Tobar's engine room. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. So now what are you gonna do? First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Any chance you're going home now? Now that I've got this sweet boat, I guess I could head back home. For a while, anyway. Just wait till Mom sees the haul I'm bringing home. I have to go yeah, now. enough, Gavin. Let's move. Okay. Engine room. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler. And oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? So it's true. Why did you do it? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest... I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. Oh. There you are. Oh, you got a scoped weapon? So do I. Forty-four magnum rounds. Bottle caps. Duchess Gambit key. Grifter's fit. Riverboat ticket. Oh, well, I have one already still. <laughs> Scoped 44 Magnum. Tweezers. Roving Trader hat. I have one of these already, so. Okay. Uh. Alright. <laughs> Save. So I can come back here then, right? Like I can just come back whenever I want to. Yeah, okay. Well then I'm gonna go back to the wasteland. Can I bring companions with me now, or no? Is it still only me that's allowed?
Drunk. Bottle cap. Pre-war money. Don't remember that. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll figure it out at some point. Uh, oop. Gonna go. Gonna go talk to your daughter then. Good to see you again. I'm going over to a neighbor. Might catch you later. Ah, uh, all right. See you later, Grandmaster Farmer. Uh, I'm probably ending the stream at this point. So, but you streamed 8.5 hours already. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, see you later. Hope you have a good time at your neighbor's. Yeah, alright. See you another day, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the stream. Yep. Thanks for sticking around and giving me some tips and let me know about some things in the game. So... Got Nadine back safe and sound. Yes, thank you so much. And now that she's got this boat and carrying all this cargo, well, I can afford to actually pay you. Thank you so much. Ten refined punga fruits. Three hundred bottle caps added. Need to be I need to get Thank going. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, now you can ride too and have a fun time in the uh, point lookout. Okay, I'll save it with this in view. Okay. Time to end the stream. Oh, the stream credits, like, broke. <laughs> yep, see you later, Margulin. I'm gonna re retry to play this. The, st the stream credits, I think... Oh no, there they go. I don't know if... Uh... It's just gonna say moderators, Moobot. <laughs> yep. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, um... I mean, I made it to Point Lookout, I don't know if there's more stuff to do in Point Lookout, but... Uh... This may or may not be the last Fallout 3 stream. Either that or I'll do like a... I guess kind of like a bonus stream and kind of do... Just some exploring, but... Yeah, anyway, that'll be it for now. See ya!